he has apple juice, so we shouldn't die, right? That's not how that works. That was the goal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. you were Because you're like, that's an ample bribe. And I was like, understood. It is an ample bribe. So one of you will survive. Oh, man. Guaranteed. Who that is? I buy apple juice. I buy You're the apple cursed. juice. But I bought the apple juice. I buy it here. For me to sip. I even share. Hello, dear friend. Welcome back. The Rift Seekers are rapidly approaching Skull. I no, that can't be right. Wait, is this seriously where the story's going? <clears throat> well, all right. The Rift Seekers are rapidly approaching Skull Island, a dangerous and deadly island made from a long dead corpse of an ancient titan from the husk world of Mortus. Why, this, this, this is madness. They'll never survive. I mean, uh, oh, 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 will they? Well, I guess we'll find out, won't we? Welcome back. Welcome. Welcome back. Welcome back to Frag. <laughs> Cold opening where it's just. <laughs> Followed by silence. <laughs> I don't know where my brain's at right now. Not here. I'm no, a little, it's I'm a not. Too giggly. I gotta... You won't be soon, so it's okay. So get it out now. Oh, everyone have a collect. Let's let's all have a therapeutic collective laugh. <laughs> uh... <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm shit sick. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Fragments of the Lost Home, everyone! Oh, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> so, as, as previously stated, oh, I would sick. never send my players to Skull Island. That's why this episode will not be labeled Skull Island. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, as we're nearing Skull no. Island... No. <laughs> okay, um, so... Welcome yeah, back, yeah. everyone. Uh, <laughs> so, where are we off last? You <laughs> <laughs> want to trade seats? <laughs> you want to go over here? You want to look through my notes? Oh my okay, <laughs> guys, I'm a player today. <laughs> guys, welcome back to Fragments of a Lost Dead. <laughs> 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 Lost. Okay. <laughs> well, there's two, dumbass. <laughs> Where we last left off, you guys had boarded the ship of uh, Valen Ahmoth's crew, and you are traveling to the island of Eskosi, which is the corpse of a long dead titan from one of the Husk Worlds. Um, so while traveling, not only did you guys swiftly take care of a fucking crew of skeletons, um, but uh, after that, you guys were talking to the very old wizard, Untha, and then promptly started discussing who to disrobe to find the other <laughs> cursed seal mark. Um, and Macau, in a fra flash of brilliance, uh, you oh, took off your flashes. leg and started unbinding your bandages you to which you started to see a mark on your own leg. Answer. How do you spell Ahamoth? A-H-I-M-O-T-H. You stole my net NPC. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> the one Who? I know about. No one that you've met yet. Well... <laughs> And no one that you are capable of meeting. Listen, I peered into the multiverse and I saw it. I said, you're mine. Is it for I know what it means to you. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost like I chose that for a reason. So, okay. Um, so, everyone apart from Dara is in the brig of this large- There's down there. I went and got him. 
I stand him because I was like, can you come and look at Orion's dick, yeah. please? <laughs> That's right. You are under yeah. the ship, you motherfucker. Yeah, I briefed I them. I got yeah. down there afterwards. I was playing with yeah. Gawain for like an hour. Yeah, that's right. And then right, I, right. I, I briefed them all on the Blooming God stuff, just so. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think everyone deserves to know what goes on with the Blooming Gods. And parties. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, because they don't fucking talk to anybody else. Yeah. Pretentious okay. assholes. Yeah. So, with yeah. all of you down here... Macau takes off his legs, start unbinding his bandages, to which there seems to be a mark on his leg. And as you keep taking the rest of it off, you would see that you have <clears throat> a mark, which is basically a large flame, and in the center of it is like an ornate skull. You never had this sort of tattoo before, so you know it's not a tattoo. Yeah, I only got one of those. Mm. But as you like take it all off, the flame around it seems to be kind of like ever so slightly like moving. And I want you to go ahead and make a perception check for me. Oh fuck, I'm finishing my mouth. You're finishing. <laughs> I forgot I have plus 10 healing potion <laughs> in wow. my skills. <laughs> forgot that that was written on my page. You said perception? No. Okay. Starting off strong oh. within 11. Okay. Um, Great number. So as you like look down at this mark on your stump, <laughs> you can very, very like quietly hear the sounds of far off distant screaming. Odysseus? That's not how that's spelled. <laughs> there we go. Thinking too much about Odysseus. I was. Um, okay, cool. I'll start it for a minute. That I'd always been there. Oh, cool. Is that moving? Yeah. Oh, yeah. When was the last time you saw it cleaned your bandages? I mean, like, not that long ago, but I don't really, like, look. You, okay, I just yeah. kind of take it off and, you know, like, clean them and change them. And, you know, All right. Does it feel unusual at that point? Does it feel unusual in my body? Mm-mm. I wonder what God would have put that there. Yeah, who the fuck is that? Apparently all gods are seems familiar to me at all. You can make a religion check. Sweet. Like, I have horrible religion, have but like I'm a, willing to like draw. Like of uh, destruction? I, if like, I can find my character sheet. Could, could it be kind of that? Well, religion. Very well could be. I was told that all gods this can one. do this, but it's not. Do you, guys, they do you know hear exactly that? The process do you hear that? Do you hear that? Hear what? Hear what? Okay. Cool. Okay. <clears throat> what are you hearing, buddy? Uh, so <laughs> it's um, I you just hear like screaming in the distance. Oh. Now. So um, that's not normal for me, frankly. Ooh. Oh. Dara, you would know what this symbol represents. Huh. Hey. Ah! This symbol uh? represents the god of war and destruction. My. I don't want to oh. say it, but I had a feeling. Do I remember his name? No. Can I look it up? Yes. All guard. That's, That's right. <sighs> oh. Okay, hold on. I'm just um, Macau, do you recognize that symbol? Uh uh Great. You might. That's all guard. War and destruction. Okay. Befitting. So, 
So what's the... What's it doing? Well, from prior knowledge, it's sealing power. Why? I don't know. I don't speak to Algard. I don't... Not even that, I just haven't. Like, doesn't... Uh, is I don't... I haven't had anything I punch people, that's about it. So I don't... I mean, you um, did set off a bomb entirely encapsulated of magic. I did do that, yeah. Which very well could have gotten the attention of gods. <laughs> Liquefying an entire section of ditch did not assist. You do make an excellent point. So, uh, mm. So, hey, you're the expert on this. <laughs> what I would get the in touch with Algar. Well, oh. well, he already knows who you are, I think. Maybe. He might as well break the ice. And the other thing is, is I mean, a lot of it does seem to be con- tied to what your own emotion. I mean, I also yeah. know who he is. At least it's yours so is. This one could be different. Yeah, it's some sort of means of self-actualization. I, I, For me, it's healing my heart. I, 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 I would pray to him when I, before going into battle, so... Did he ever answer, answer you? Uh, Probably okay. not. Do you feel... What emotions do you feel in response to what occurred that day? Now. That is a loaded question. Yeah, it's therapy time. Start unloading. Not when we're going to fucking Skull Island! And your leg is currently the greatest point of interest. I don't know, Skull Island sounds pretty interesting. We're not there yet. You can keep it brief if it makes you feel better. Yeah! You don't approve of your actions that day? No. No. You don't? No. Okay. Would you do it differently now? Yes. Interesting. That alone is good enough reason to want to contact Allguard. Don't like doing that god bullshit, no. <laughs> I mean, I can always try and assist you, but I have not spoken to Algard before, and I don't know that he would like me. Probably not. I mean, you might have, like, a respect thing. Just be like, you keep doing your business, I'll keep doing mine. Yes. Well, there's also the conflict of interest. There's, the, there's, there's a very large conflict of interest. Life and then the yeah. war and destruction versus life. Yeah, sorry about that. And uh, wildlife and agriculture so in the sorry. land. Okay, um, how how do I do that? How do you how do you do that? Well, unfortunately, according to the gods, I have a special connection. Splendid. So I typically just sit down and I make prayer. Okay. Sometimes, depending on who I'm praying to, I'll alter the circumstances. Okay. Praying. How, how do you ring him up? The, the uh, well, Mr. Loveman. I believe it's a... <laughs> for, for Mr. Loveman, hmm. I... I pretty much... form a little magic. So I pretty much <clears throat> just trace a circle on the ground. Okay. Nothing forms, no magic or anything. I get down on my knees. I inhale, I draw a half circle around my heart with my finger. Okay. And as I exhale, I complete the circle. Okay. Well, it would probably be different for everyone else, but I think you might just have to focus on the concept itself. Maybe tapping 
two. Destruction. <laughs> okay. Without destroying anything. Right, yes, of course. Late, that comes later. On Skull Island. <sighs> Pray to him for assistance in what you're going to have to do soon. Because there's no way we're getting out of this without fighting. Yeah, okay, so... Like... Hey, big guy. Uh... Seems we... Seems I got a new tat. From you... Can we talk about what that's about? Also, hey, gonna go maybe fuck up some guys. So much destruction to their bodies. Talk to me like that. Not quite. Ask him for assistance in battle. Okay. And ask him to elaborate on why you are marked. Okay. Do I have to be fancy? I don't know. Probably not. Do you think it's all guard. Do you think he cares <laughs> about stuff like that? He's gonna kill me. <laughs> okay. Well. Or maybe do it after destruction? I don't know. He might be more prone to talking if, if I am like, hey, I'm gonna go do this. Yeah. And then he's like, yeah, and gets all excited about it. Ew! Okay. I'm gonna go sit. You are. If you feel you need assistance, call on me. Okay. Same here. Where are you guys going? Because if I start to walk somewhere and then you guys go the same direction, I'm gonna get real upset. I'm not even going anywhere. You guys staying down here? Yep. Hanging out? Yep. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna take a nap. All right. Sick. I'm going up. <laughs> go up. I'm gonna put my leg back on, and then I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go upstairs and like onto the deck of the ship somewhere. Okay. I don't know where there'd be like like. Is there anybody at the front? Uh, like the the front? No. no, not really. People are kind of like <clears throat> walking around the ship. As you <clears throat> get onto the deck of the ship, uh, you would see that clouds would begin to form and the weather is becoming a lot more dreary, a lot more stormy. Um, so, We're going to Alcatraz, boys. Yep, yep. Uh, so... There is no one near like the front of the ship. Everyone though yeah. does seem to be kind of preoccupied or busy with preparing the ship to dock or reach the island. Okay. Uh, and I will go sit at like the very front okay. of the ship. Very good. Um, and I will pop a squat. Okay. I almost just wrote not the correct name. Um, and I'm gonna try to pray. I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow my directions to the to a fucking T. I'm gonna be like, in, in, a, in a more direct, polite way, like, hey, gonna, like, never done this before. Um, heading to dangerous location. Likely will not be getting out of there without having to fight stuff and cause some destruction to the locale. Um, would like some some help up in there. Also, what's up with the tap? <laughs> Basically, what I'm what I'm doing. Go ahead and roll a religion check. Yeah. I should have given you guidance. Ooh. It's possible. <sighs> Jesus. Thirteen. <clears throat> so you follow the ritual that Dara and Mirage proposed to you to gain called contact with Allgard. Mm -hmm. You really try to focus and it's strange because you've never reached out to any sort of divine force before. And as you're really trying to, your mind just kind of wanders. Mm -hmm. It can't be still long enough for you to form any sort of connection or um, blankness of the mind to be able to form a connection. Okay. So as you're sitting down, praying, meditating, doesn't work 
nothing seems to happen. Could I attempt a different approach? Yes. And remember the feeling that I got when Cassade showed up and helped with the lake situation when those people were trying to go fuck up Ambrose because of who he follows and like remember what that felt like being in that space and then also remember when Ryuk was trying to fuck my shit up the first time we encountered a storm and just think about what it felt like the different time, like when Dion was there and like when, when Dara's been doing a shit and we've actually seen the gods showing up like trying to remember what it felt like and try to focus on that and like, will that <laughs> occur while trying the prayer again? Go ahead and just make a history check for me. Okay. That's cocked as shit. Amazing. Hmm. Nice. Well, I'm gonna need some help. <laughs> With a five, the best way I can phrase it is the way you thought of or remember all those gods and how they approached you and appeared, they all had some sort of reason yeah. to be there. And it was almost like very specific events that occurred that allowed the god to mm -hmm. appear before you. Particular circumstances. Yes. Okay. It's different for those who are religious because yeah. they might have a better connection and have an easier time contacting the gods. Yeah. Whereas for you, it was only very specific circumstances where a god approached you. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, I forgot about that very early on. Um, I'm gonna whip around, still see it, slap both of my hands on the deck, just, Dara! 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 <laughs> I'll head upstairs. Okay. <laughs> I'm following behind him. Okay. Oh, boy. I am full. I am seated, facing like <laughs> like legs facing towards the front, but I am completely at the waist, turned around, and just banging on the deck. Don't think I've ever prayed to a dystopian god before. I follow up a couple surprised. minutes after. I'm not uh, surprised by this outcome. I can't do it. It's not working. No, we'll see what we can do. I try. I I tried the, the praying. I tried to chill, meditate, and shit. Didn't work. Tried to focus on like other encounters when gods have showed up. Nothing. Well, what do you do when you pray to your gods? Because it seems like who you follow is like the antithesis. On this one, maybe just I vary have it up. Him, have them do the inverse of it. it. It changes from god to god mostly. A lot of the times, I just make a simple prayer if I'm too busy, but I try to find an environment that fits or. Right. In Marinus's case, I was holding seawater, basically. Should that's I like right. break the environment something? Does matter. Should I break something? No. I can you find something have... that's able to be broken. Like we this... are on a ship. Please don't. You I might have, have better odds yet. once we actually get to Skull Island. This is also true. Yeah, that place looks desolate as shit. Which is why I was saying, it's like maybe yeah. fuck up some shit beforehand, and when you are in the yeah. said environment of destruction, yeah. try. That's okay. what that's what I was trying to say, yeah. and then they got shut down because you guys were like there beforehand. And... The goal is to try and get it done beforehand. It's not that it's a terrible idea to try and do it during. Yeah. Well, not during, but like the aftermath. I know yeah. what you're saying. Oh, okay. Well, let's see if we can't make a prayer to Algar. Another god today. <laughs> we're just. Ring, ring! It's kind Material of... plane here! <laughs> How many have I spoken to it in a month? <laughs> Macau just created the cell phone, by the way. <laughs> just created. Just okay. Cool. Everyone. We'll treat this like a regular ritual. I don't have any other ideas. Sit down. I'm sat. Let me kill you. <clears throat> I will sit down, I will 
and grab the most violent thing I have on my person, which is a stun baton. <laughs> I just hold up my fists. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have the gloves? Put them on. Let's see what happens. There you go. You gonna get in on this? <sighs> it's a lot of godly presence in one spot, so. Yeah. Do you want me to look good? I got a lot of weapons I can lay on the ground. <laughs> You're like the guy from Sim. I just. <laughs> <laughs> I just create like a little like stack. I mean, honestly, why not? Um, you know, just take out my. Little, I'll, just I'll just take out my little my, dagger that I I'll have. I'll have my axe in my. I'm like my inner thigh that's. You know, Covered by yeah. The dress. I <laughs> hand one of my hand. I have my punchy voice. I'm all the weapon I need. Okay, so yeah, I guess we all sit in the in circle of some kind. <laughs> the yep. circle of death. So, and I will try and initiate a prayer. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Religion. Okay. Just for religion. Yep. Thunderbringer starts playing in the background. That'll do. Holy shit. Oh boy. That is a 21. So what does this death circle look like exactly? Is it just, there's a whole bunch of weapons inside of a circle? Well, I'm holding mine. I have my, my mech gloves on. Yeah. This one has axe in hand. This one has axe in hand. And then I was going to make a. My I didn't make any markings or anything because I didn't feel <laughs> mm-hmm. like that would be. You got all your shit. My my war pick, glaive, and both of my hand axes are in the middle. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Well, okay. Uh, weapons of war! Right. Okay. If you're okay. looking for weapons, I got one of every kind. I forgot that that was his last name. That's why I was asking. <laughs> I can't twirl a pencil or a knife, but just pretend that he does. Because she's What's cool. Name here? No, I did not. I'm like, oh, so tiny. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. So. What would happen aboard this ship oh. is after you place your weapons of destructions around <laughs> or have them out. In the middle of this circle where Ornan has just kind of stacked all of his weapons of mass destruction. Um, yeah. In the middle of the circle, <laughs> there would be this bright red glow just that appears. And all of a sudden, the ground where the circle is just, just melts away into this burning abyss. Just whoosh, fire erupts from the circle and Orn, you see your weapons get like spewed out and all of your other weapons that you're holding on to are just sucked away from you just with this gravitational force and they all <laughs> bing, 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 form this ball until all of a sudden it begins to like mold together almost like with a terminator guy where he kind of like molds from this like silver kind of shit <laughs> And then all of a sudden, this humanoid figure would form, um, donning just black and silver armor, this massive hulking beast of a human, um, horns on top of his helmet, wielding this great sword made of steel and bones would appear in this circle. Um, It's more so just like the top half of him where the other, like the bottom half is is kind of like more Mm ethereal-esque as he's just kind of like floating in this fiery pit of a circle you guys have now created. And as he stands there, he flourishes his um, steel, massive great sword and this burning circle like appears around him before it like fades away. And before you stands the like ethereal avatar of Allgard. And he just looks at all of you. Why have I been summoned here? Who calls to the God of destruction? Many of us. We ask for assistance this day in battle to come. And we pray to you for knowledge upon a marking that you placed upon our friend. I see. He... <laughs> ah, yes. The ditch digger himself. 
I am humbled by your presence. Is it being sarcastic? Roll insight. <laughs> <laughs> He is very much being sarcastic. Cool. That's so. Okay. I was like, that's a god. <laughs> There's no <laughs> way. You wish for my blessing in battle. Yes, my wish. I see. I have witnessed your previous battles and thus far have made me proud. By what boon? Would you so like for me to bestow upon <laughs> I don't know. I didn't think we'd get this far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's no, um, honestly a good In oh. Tiny Ornan Brand, it's just like oh. a very small pair. It's just like, ah, guide us. But I'm like, oh. may, may our souls strike true. Or may, our, may our blows be lethal. I don't know. <laughs> Come on, melee guys. I was not too certain I'd get that far. But, in short, we just ask for assurances that our weapons strike too true, that we stand heartily at the end. And also, magic. You've got, hmm? you've got ouchy magic. I feel like magic counts as a weapon. That's what you're defined <laughs> in how it all works. Yes. You might not agree, but I don't know. Yeah. For your battles to come, I will see to it that your weapons strike true. May you stand valiantly against your foes. So long as you spread my influence, I will aid you. Like that's easy enough for at least us two? I think our actions will speak for for themselves. (laughs) I mean, we have been on a conquest to fuck up the homunculi. I guess at this point, yeah. Okay, six creations. Those fucks. Your path has been nothing but death and destruction. I am proud of you all. Oh, can I go speak? Oh, well. Speak. <laughs> I'm just thinking of a big, big metal man, and I'm like, <laughs> um, okay, okay. Um, so, seal? My cursed mark yeah. for which I have placed upon you. Yes. For the imbalance that you have brought upon the biosphere. Yes. Question, I suppose, um, if, if you're all about the war and the destruction and all that, which, hurrah, um, why would you place a, a seal on me if that's what I accidentally did? What's the last question on the run? I have to. I can see the confusion yes. that riddles your mind. Much. But understand this, Ditch Digger. <laughs> for if it was not for me and the mark I have placed upon you, you would not be standing here today. The other gods would have descended to destroy you where you stood. So, think of it as protection. But, they would have won. your soul belongs to me. Okay. They would have, let alone me, just. Of course. Why wouldn't they after what you did? The lives you destroyed. The souls that departed from this world. Do you not understand the inconvenience you had on all the gods that day? Consider yourself lucky that I am here. And he leans in very close to you. Or would you prefer I take it off? Uh, was... Would you prefer for yourself to be guided to the Tectheum and be judged by Cathect? How do you think he would judge you as you stand today? Um, I don't want to be 
we have to go through what we did. Uh, you know what? This, at this point, I think I'm okay. I've got, I've got some work to do. <laughs> I'm so glad you think of yourself so highly, Ditch Digger. Um. <laughs> So is it just a? Uh, is it just there to say don't don't worry about this one, guys? Or is it like what's what's it just doing? Because like I know somebody with a seal, and they can't use like their full abilities. Yes, just, well, as do I. Oh, I was trying to be vague. Sorry. We all know of you. We oh, know of right. all the ones we that. have marked. It's a billboard. Fair enough. Though, Dion is more kind than the rest of us. Though he was scared of his so-called champion. He is still a loving being. I, though, am different. You are precious to me. As your life is committed to the destruction and death of all those that stand before you. If it wasn't for your misdeeds, I would have claimed you as my champion. But now, I'm stuck babysitting you. Okay. So, so what's the... What's it doing? As I said before, it's a mark of protection against the other gods. Okay. So it's a, it's a mark of protection, not a seal on something. Correct. Okay. I'm glad you're smart enough to see it through. Cool, 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 cool. Not That's all insane. cursed marks are the same. I see. Okay. Yours has a purpose to seal your power away. But it seems your chains are slowly breaking. And I can't wait to see you at your full power, Eve. So too do the rest of us gods. You are a blessed being upon the biosphere. It seems our mother and fathers are blessing you. And they have their watchful eyes resting upon your soul. So, is there anything else I can do for you? Or may I go back to my other duties? We have no further requests to you, my leash. We have no further requests. No questions. Very well. Know that I watch over you in battle. I actually do have... Oh. One more question. He whips around and goes right to your face. Just hey, so here's the deal. <laughs> just wondering. Um, just for clarification. Are the- you speak so commonly in the presence of a divine being. Uh, this is not something I'm used to. I have massive respect for you in this moment here in time and space. I am just- Perhaps a- you can learn from the one who speaks to me as though I were a noble. tap into my Amber's tutoring. <laughs> Fuck that <laughs> I apologize if the manner in which I have spoken to you is disrespectful. I am a bit out of my element and frankly a bit nervous. My final question for you, all guard sir, is um, do your Brethren, currently greatly dislike my existence, or are they relatively impartial at this point? Is is the mark at the, the mark that's there the only thing keeping me from, pardon my common language, getting absolutely fucking bodied, or or are they kind of? Past it at this point, sir. 
Most of my kin, the ones that rest under the pantheon of the dystopian gods, right. praise you highly. Though all others would smite you where you stand. One god, in which is more powerful than the rest of us, would see to it that you would fall endlessly in the abyss. There's something. Say that one more time? I'm less knowledgeable about this sort of thing, so forgive me if I need clarification. Within your group, you create your own micro-balance. You, the bringer of death, bringer of destruction wherever you've gone. So too, your green friend. One who have led lives to their doom. Doom? Death? Jesus. Uh, <laughs> doom? Doom? I've created the new word. <laughs> doom. Um, who led the lives of his clan to their doom. Who've destroyed many tribes and clans upon the white, wintry death of Igis. And then you have one such other, one who cares for life, who heals other and cares for others, and one right in between who has healed lands and cared for others, saved countless towns and people alike, yet in herself is a weapon of destruction, one who can become powerful enough to bring the biosphere unto flames. So, think of it. One who is so clever and smart. What is the opposite of death? Hmm. Whoops. I think you understand <laughs> now. Whoops. Um. He is the god of life because he protects the life of the biosphere. <laughs> but... He has a brother that can take away one such soul if that means to maintain the balance on the biosphere. Why hasn't he, uh, you know, he's my, my friend here, my compatriot, is quite involved with him. Um, and at least to my knowledge, you haven't talked to me, that, I don't know, he doesn't seem to be uh, perturbed by my presence with one of his pious men. Because you are protected by me. And he will not touch you as long as that mark is placed upon you. Okay, okay. Last question and you can, you are free to do, you're free to do whatever you wish right now. I just would be so grateful if you were to answer this final question. Um, do I know that you said that the the dystopian kin of yours uh, think I'm pretty chill? Um, what about the twins? How do the twins feel about me? Because I can I talked to them at one point, and then they said the the ho oh, oh, ho watch out, and then I didn't do the thing, and then they were then I didn't talk to them after that. They attempted to contact you and for you to do their bidding. Yeah. But it seems your mind was preoccupied and so they left you alone and sought out another. So they're not gonna follow through on what they said? No. <sighs> they have found another to take your place. You have no need to worry. Now before I leave, there is one last thing. If you so wish to remove this mark, there is a way. Near impossible in this land, but if somehow, some way, the gods deem you s yourself as redeemable, then the mark will be removed. 
But will that happen in your lifetime? <laughs> I think not. Not with how you currently are. So live out your life, Macau, and do as you wish. Kill all those in your way and bring destruction wherever you may go. And I will continue to watch over you. But when your life ends, you are no longer in my hands. Good luck to you all. And may you be blessed in battle and your weapons strike your enemies down. <laughs> Thank you. And with that, he flourishes his sword and brandishes it up and flames just engulf him before the pit, the fiery pit below um, becomes whole once again and all your weapons cling, 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 clatter to the ground. Pause. Okay. Well, now he has apple juice, so we shouldn't die, right? That's not how that works. That was the goal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, you were because like, you're like, that's an ample bribe. And I was like, understood. It is an ample bribe. So one of you will survive. Oh. Right. Guaranteed. Who that is? I bought the apple juice. I bought you're the apple juice. But I bought the apple juice. <laughs> I bought it in here. Why did you see it? I even <laughs> Thank you. I'm, it, it's not bad with completion. Period. What are you guys doing? You're on a ship. I'm reflecting. I'm on a ship. On I'm considering flight. what the fuck just happened. Yeah, I'm a little bit in shock. Um, and other than that, I really don't have anything to do because I'm just kind of waiting until we arrive. I grab oh. all my weapons well, uh, that I had laid out on the ground. Yeah, I just have my one that I think. Yeah, I grab my stun baton well, back. You must be happy that your power's not sealed. Is that really what we're going to take away from that? I mean, that it's a start. Okay, fair enough. Um, Working my way up. Why are we just <laughs> going to ignore the world champion, Matusi? We're getting there. At least one third mm. of the powers that be want me fucking dead. Two. Sorry. Huh? What? It'd be two. The Newtopians probably don't want you anymore. That's why I said one third. One third of them. Yes, of and the, the Newtopians world. also probably want you dead. At least. That's why I said at least one. Mm -hmm. Follow There me. are technically no. four pantheons, but I see you're only including the three. Uh, one I don't four. know if the Blooming is going to be considered in that one. One four. Well, Blooming are their own, their own, I would say, like, are separate. You, are you talking because about they, the Progenitors? Yeah. Yeah, the Progenitors. So, okay, I don't know so shit one fuck about them. One fourth, then. One fourth. Want my ass dead. Maybe two Maybe more. of the fourths don't really give a shit. And one of them, one quarter does like you. That's just Ambrose in the back, just... <laughs> <laughs> so effectively we either have to get you forgiven or that thing can never come off and no matter what when you die you're going to have a horrible time I don't like this <laughs> hey hey no I'm just saying if you remembered what happened to a previous character that was shown to you guys and their fate of what happened after they went into the abyss, you would know exactly what might happen to you. Say that one more time. With the character that was previously presented to you and their backstory and what had happened to them, you would know exactly what would happen to you if you were to die. Like on ethos? Mm -hmm. We're talking it was in the last about. chapter. Is this meant to ring bells? Hmm? Is this meant to ring bells? Yeah, apparently. It so. should. I'll get to that. Hold on, okay. Uh I sort of Who the fuck died. should have died? Wait. Did he die? Not he. All right, I'm definitely. Not a he. Mm -mm. Somebody that was previously introduced in the last chapter. Mm -hmm. 
It's not a big thing. I'm just saying. If you no, but I want to know. Okay, well. Is this the one in the orchard? Orchard? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'm, I don't know. This is not ringing a single bell. It just popped up into my mind. It's really not that. It's not I that important. I want to know, though. Yeah, now you've gotten us interested, Keith. Okay, well. I'm trying to remember what the fuck happened. Because <laughs> at this point, it's not even like a, oh, what happened to me? It's, who the fuck are you talking about? Just think about what happened to Nuita. I thought there was more cir- ex- extenuating circumstances from that, though. How so? What do you mean? Like, I thought they were, like, purposely turned. Because of Dre's al Ghul. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that bitch is gonzo. Right. But we got them to be able to return because we got rid of Dre's al Ghul. That doesn't seem the same. Yeah. It's just, it's possible. To get turned into a Blackland demon? To get turned into a demon. Oh! Oh, that's what, okay. More generalized than that we were thinking. Yes. Okay, well, I don't like that answer, but kind of a neat option. Yeah. Macau the demon, that's pretty cool. You're already one. They're they're a tiefling. Yeah, Nick Demon. That's a devil. Yep. I mean, there are greater devils, just not as great as demons. We don't know enough about all that stuff. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck the underworld demon devil situation is. We don't know! (laughs) That's okay. Fascinating. I want to know. Okay. One day I will learn. We need a new PowerPoint with more lore that we should know. You hey, should Paul, know this too. You should know this too. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to dress it, up like it has to be a, in that. It has fucking, to be it's number two. You should know this too. Yeah. And then it's PowerPoint two, electric boogaloo. You are specifically wearing the outfit that he wore for that interview, which was a hot one. Interview, Understood. By the way. I will create another PowerPoint with even more information about things. Yes. That'll be that'll be the next not next session, but a session where it's just and two hours please, of just please. more info. I actually eat that up. Okay, That's fair so enough. fun for me. Oh, that'll yeah, be honestly. my next big project to work on, yeah. understood. <laughs> okay. I love shit like that. Hell yeah. Because it, it makes me feel alive in this place. Because I'm like, I makes know Makes me this. feel alive. It's like I know how this shit works, and then I feel intelligent. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know? I feel very fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. It makes sense. All right, cool. Can be done. Okay, so. Yay. Hmm. Well, what did you say? You said something. Champion? Hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. What the fuck? You tell us. What do you, what? Do you, I don't understand the whole gig with the champion thing. Like, I know you have your shit going on. <laughs> um, but I don't really know how that works in the grand scheme of things, and I don't know how that works when it comes to Olgard. I don't know anything about... I don't know shit about fuck. The very basic answer that I have, which isn't a great one, would be if you were chosen as Olgard's... If you're chosen as a god's champion, yeah. you are expected to spread the word, gospel, and beliefs of said god. In the instance of Olgard... War, destruction, killing. And so because I had fucked up previously as massively as I did, everything I did after that, even though it really fit in that category, didn't really matter because that big thing had happened that was a bit too much. If I were to make an assumption, yes. Mm. I don't pretend to understand the machinations of the gods. Hey, me neither. Destruction is just another side of the coin. Yeah, another end of the scale. Yeah. Therefore, I think that you may have tipped the scale too far into one direction. Yeah, it wasn't a balance. Oh. Go ahead and make an insight check for me. I hate everything about this. 
Do you know how weird it is I to go from sarcastic, to <laughs> not no not against you. No, 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 I just <laughs> just a general insight check. Do you know how weird it is to go from a character that's like gods and then go to a character that's like Nyeh! and now the character's like Nyeh! it's like what's going on with the gods? <laughs> okay, it's yes. Is it your favorite number? Cool, no. wonderful. It's uh, is that oh it fell. Okay, it was a little cocked, but it fell onto a one, and I have the plus two, so that's a three. Okay, oh. so disregard. Um. Well. Hmm. There was another one. <laughs> dice jail. Dice jail. No, don't. I'm just gonna. I'm just. Nope. I'm gonna... Nope. Dice. We're that. We're jailing it. Jail. Jail. I'll put it in the fucking jail myself. Ugh. All right, time to find another dice jail. Space lizards. Thank you, Isaac. You know exactly what I'm looking for. <laughs> Those when I was like playing pretend as a kid with toys. Yeah. Making all the sound effects and shit. All right, what kind of dice jail do I want? Damn. That's sad. Anyways. <laughs> Hey, you want to let them roll can again I, and make Can I come back to this stupid. later? Sure. Okay, cool. How about now? I just, the, from what you said, like a couple minutes ago, I'm like, huh, that makes perfect sense in my brain. But that's all I can say. Otherwise, you would know, and I can't have you knowing. What if I rolled a real good number right now? Go ahead. For what am I adding to it? It's insight. It's insight still? Okay. Yeah, go ahead. It's been a minute, I'll let you roll again. <laughs> How insightful are you? Keith. If I bought this, could we put it on the table? Oh, what is it? It's a little oh, jail thing. Absolutely. Wait, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. That can be our centerpiece. I love that. Yeah. It'll, It'll be, be one, one for each of you. It'll be one for each of us. Choir. We could just. Uh, I will add that <laughs> to my wish list. Does it rotate? Hell yeah. Does it rotate? I don't think so. Oh, no. Can you There's imagine? No. It's like, fuck you, time to get sick. <laughs> <laughs> you put all cursed dice in there, and then you roll. <laughs> Every once in a while, I'll have you roll yeah. the cursed dice. You didn't say. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say. Roll again. The, the D inspiration dice. You know how, uh, is it Dimension 20 that has their fucking. Box of Doom? Yeah. Their Box of Doom, I yeah. want something like that. I want one that's like cursed and luck based. Thirteen. No. Womp. Womp, womp, but it's, womp. Do I get anything? No. It was a one. You said really good. Thirteen is mid at best. Hey, Hold on. A great okay. number. Thirteen best. doesn't even pass the medium DC. That's when you become a teenager. I don't accept. That's a good mid. number. <laughs> Not for parents. What about it? <laughs> that wasn't you. God damn it. Continuing on, what else are you guys doing or, or I will send you into the abyss? Yes. I am waiting to arrive because I can only play with Gawain so many times a day. Otherwise, that's what I would... I mean, I will continue to play with Gawain, <laughs> but okay. ability-wise, yeah. I can't. Is there anything you want to do? Anyone you want to talk to before entering uh, Island of Rainbows and Fairies? I'm just watching the clouds just gather at school, and I'm like, mm. yeah. So yeah, we are getting sight held, you son of a bitch. Yeah. yeah. I would never send you to Skull Island. It's just all of a sudden just sun <laughs> shines, so lollipop, and rainbows, rainbows every day. It's wonderful. It's I wonderful. always think of Cloudy with the chance of meatballs every time that, and then I immediately think of, blah, 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 blah. that's where my mind goes to. I think of Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs when I think oh. of that song, and then immediately think of Flint Lockwood! Flint Lockwood! Okay. I will just lean against the side and look up at the sky. Very good. I'll We're all just shot. like, oh, so pretty out today. Double rainbow, <laughs> sun is shining. I'm still sitting like, Silent is good open. It really it is. Yeah. It's blossoming with exotic flora and fauna. The Nothing sky there. is blossoming with dark clouds. It's like a flower. No, the sun is shining. There's no clouds. There's even a double double rainbow in the sky. No, you looked really cool when you dropped all those weapons on the floor. You had like 30 of them. <laughs> Shit. It's only... 
two, four, five. Oh, I do need to look that. I mean, you pretty much carried me through that ritual, so. Did I? Come on, this is what I got. I showed my thigh dagger. I, I pull out the dagger. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, I mean, I you mean, can kill you're, someone. That, you're so. not really doing <laughs> much of the stepping as you're like. Yeah. See, you're doing shit that I can't do, but if you were to train, you would be able to do the things that I can do. I can't do what you do. I mean, I can't do that shit. It's not entirely true. Uh, Packs, studying. There's other options as well. I mean, do I really look like the type of person to just sit around and read a book all day? Like I said, studying is one. Packs, chances with gods. There are ways to learn magic. I did, but I don't talk to them. Really, man. Mm, they could always approach you. That gave me an icky feeling in my stomach. I mean, two, I also have like three, two of Cassade's things got the block. Yeah, you should talk to her. Anyway. I like she helped me out one time. And, um... Let's just say I'm scared that I don't want anyone to tell me what I can and can't do or like follow like a moral code <laughs> kind of thing. That's fair. I just kind of want to be myself. Right. I understand. And by swinging my axe, I can do that. So. I, mental wise, wouldn't be able to do what you do. <laughs> Talking to the blooming gods? What the fuck? I mean, don't get too down on yourself. If you, if you and I arm wrestled right now, my arm would snap and get too big. Do you want to try to carry the battle away? I. Sure. I mean, it's not that heavy. Uh, yeah. Right? I have a minus one. <laughs> oh man. Maybe. And I just like, okay, okay, Miley, stand back. I think all the momentum it's only four of this. Pounds. Oh, oh, it's only four pounds? Yeah, Battle Axe is only four pounds. Oh, wait, no, I was thinking of a Great Axe. Curse. Oh, Even a Great Axe isn't going to be that heavy. Yeah, because it's a battle axe. But then, like, can you do this? And I start, like, just, like, twisting and just... No, great axe is seven pounds. And I'm just pogging. Weapons are way lighter than you guys think they are. It's just because of the combined weapons. Maybe maybe we should start training to see if we can build his strength. Yeah. I think a little little more endurance. I mean, to be fair, you're not weren't raised in the harsh conditions that I were. Mm. Yeah, maybe I just need a, maybe I just need a tougher hide. Maybe I could show you how to be a little more spiritually in tune. And we can try. I just don't think I have the attention span to do so. What? What? What does attention span have to do with summoning gods? Oh, because you think they like the clear to your mind. You see how quickly I do it. Okay, but that's you! Right, and training could help you achieve that just as well. But you also said to Makabe you also have a special connection. I don't have that type of shit. You could. You just don't know. I did. Mind know. and. <laughs> mind and body. Okay. I'm just gonna sit down at the front of the ship and I'm just gonna start polishing my weapons. <laughs> Alright. Removing all like the dried blood yeah. that I haven't cleaned off yet. And... I'm just gonna stretch for the incoming hell. No, well, there you just hear a. <laughs> I'm doing squats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're already starting the training regimen. <sighs> God damn it. <laughs> Go! 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 
<laughs> the worst. No, I don't hate Josiah. No, no. Who oh, asked I actually, me actually, do you hate? Sorry, I only know that one line. I don't know what. Do host me means you hate me. Oh. Yup. <laughs> no. Do, do host. Okay, I think back. Do host mish. I think back. Do host mish gespra. Josiah. Like Garsh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Is it goofy? What? What the gorge? Boom! <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Where's my fucking money? <laughs> All right. Anyway, Dungeons and Dragons. Christ Almighty! I'm doing squats. This one sharpening blades. What are you doing? I'm staring off into the space. Well, you're not doing anything now because I am pushing this story along. We're oh. at Spooky Island. We are at the island. <laughs> <laughs> In the land of one million drums, there is always something going on. On, 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 on. If you can, okay. I love this song. I could go on. <laughs> Players arrive at Spooky Island. Jamie is dumb. Do you think it's ready to behave? Okay. So. Do you want to test it? <laughs> so the sign <clears throat> sure is spooky. <laughs> a disco ball starts descending as you approach the yeah. island. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Off in the near distance. <laughs> 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 D D, but it's Scooby Doo. <laughs> okay, so, oh my God. <laughs> On pause because for the last thirty minutes we've been doing nothing but being nonsensical idiots. <laughs> what you were here for? <laughs> Sometimes there's just structure. <laughs> That's the only difference. Okay. So. <laughs> oh. Mage armor. God, fuck. Okay, okay, fine. Yeah, okay. Actual legit. Okay, okay. Fair. So, as you guys approach what? Skull Island, um, oh, the seas would begin to rage. The ship begins to rock violently back and forth as the waters crash onto the ship. Um, the wind begins to blow violently. You guys are just being rocked back and forth. Um, you are being pushed towards the island at like breakneck speeds. The wind is now forced you there um, you can see uh, all your other shipmates begin to like try to hold on for dear life um, you can hear them yelling back and forth all these different orders um, you can see uh, Valen, who is on the helm of the ship, just really trying to take control. And he's struggling, he's struggling before uh, water crashes onto the ship and like knocks him over to the railing. You can hear him just... <laughs> Um, so now this ship is out of control and sailing every which way. And as you guys are looking towards the island, you can see that you are rapidly approaching um, like rocks and this cliff edge nearby. Um, so first off, as the ship is rocking and water is crashing aboard the ship, I need everyone to make an acrobatics check to try to stay standing. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 an acrobatics at what? Check. Don't no. worry, Meredith has got you. Just, just stay there. Dara the gymnast. Pretty please? I've lost my character sheet again. There it is. Acrobatics. Okay. All right. Acrobatics. 18. You can't roll worse than me. Uh-oh. <laughs> Goose egg. All right. So, numbers. Eight. Eight. Seven. Okay. Wonderful. So. All right. Bitch, please! Everyone except for Mirage. Uh, you are all knocked over onto the ship. You are now prone on the ground. And the ship is now like rocking ever back and forth. So I need all of you to make athletics check now. Thank okay. fuck. As you're trying to hold on for dear life um, to avoid being slammed up against the side of the ship. Oh shit, never mind my act. Athletics is not that high. Very good. It's eight. Nine enough. Nine. Okay. That's what else. Plus five. That just saves. Um, so, Dara, as you are knocked to the ground prone, the ship 
um, slides over to one side and you just poof, tumble, tumble, tumble to the railing of the ship and you just poof, hit the side of it. Uh, you take six points points of bludgeoning damage. Points. You take points. <laughs> you take six big points of damage. <laughs> of damage. Um, okay. okay, so. Um, so he, not, he doesn't have a seal. Mirage, you are the only I one. I take less, don't I? Because of the shield. Uh, yes, minus two. Two. So four points of bludgeoning damage. Um, Thank you. Mirage, you are the only one who are left standing. Everyone else is now, like, prone on the ship, just ship, just sh- trying to hold on for dear life and stay aboard. Um, the helm of the ship, you can see, is... And the ship is out of control. Uh, if you want to, you can try to go up there and take control of the ship if you'd like. Um Captain Eve. Yeah! Okay. Blend energy. Channel your inner blend. Just one of you to me. Just, just the imaginary teacup. Just. Okay, so. Like behind my head, because you're good. Because you're good. Okay, so. Yoga. Um, all other people are on the I ship prone. So what are you doing? I'm fucking gonna try to gain control of the ship. Okay, very good. Yeah. You run up to the helm of the ship and grasp onto it, and immediately this ship is just trying um, with all of its force just to knock you over. So as you grab on, you're holding for dear life as this helm is just trying to turn. Uh, go ahead and make an athletics check. Mm-hmm. Athletics, yeah, that makes sense. It has to be athletics. Of course it's athletics. You got this, Pookie. I love athletics. Ah, three. Yep. Oh, yeah. I okay. spin with the wheel. <laughs> so you take control for a second and you try to withstand the force, but it's not enough. And you are you let go as the wheel just boom, um, and keeps turning. Um, you guys would hear. Um, someone yelling, you would hear Amir yelling um, as he runs over to the railing of the ship and he is like holding on to someone. You guys look over and you would see his sister who was thrown off the ship and he is grasping onto her wrist, trying to keep her afloat or keep her above, keep her on the ship, Jesus Christ. Um, but as Mirage goes to the helm and is not able to take, take control, the ship turns violently and crashes onto a rock and Brill is sent into the watery depths below. You can hear Amir yelling out for her, but she is already swept away. Where are you? <clears throat> Do your boots. I'm gonna try to go to the helm. Okay, so the ship hits one of the rocks and all of you are just kind of sent rocking on this ship and it continues going deeper into this like watery island passageway and keeps crashing on the rocks. The ship is getting destroyed bit by bit by bit until finally um, it would crash into one of the sides of the island and the entire ship just explodes. And the last thing you guys would see and feel is just getting knocked into the water. All of us? All of Fuck. you. Fuck. We're getting another beach episode. Yay! Yay! Yeah! Beach episode, take two. Okay. So, eventually, all of you would awake on the shore of this island. Your bodies are battered and bruised. They are sore, they hurt from the force of being thrown off to the ship into the waters. But you're all alive and have all made it to some part of this island. As you awake, you would notice you're only nearby one other person. Everyone else is gone. Mirage, you awake and beside you, you would see the Dark Steel Knight and Manon, so the woman with the short hair. Um, Ornan, you would awake and see Captain Valen near you. Macau, you would awake to see Vicky, the red-haired halfling. And Dara, you would awake to see um, Amir, the dwarf near you. So, you awake, bits of the crash ship are near you, but there's no one else around you. As in all the different parts the shore with the people that are with us and not each other. Yes. You're not with each other. You're only Amazing. you're only with the person that I said. 
Okay, okay. Cool. Ooh. Okay. I think I might be able to help. I should be able to use something. Yes, you should. I have an idea as well. So, it's maybe about midday now, maybe a little later. You can't really tell with the clouds overhead. It's windy. It's not raining, but it seems like there's kind of like a storm above you. Just very windy, kind of bitter wind hits your skin. So, what do you do as you guys awake? I will stand up and go check on Amir, see how he's doing. Uh, he, you would see that Amir is already awake. He is on his knees and he is clutching uh, some kind of like glove in his hand. Oh! And you can hear him as he is just like weeping. We lost her, didn't we? <laughs> he just looks up, tears streaming down his eyes. I... I couldn't hold on to her. I wasn't strong enough. Now she's lost to the sea. <sighs> she could still be out there. There's no guarantee, but it's possible. I... I hold out hope, but those waters were treacherous. Yes. <sighs> I don't think any of us were quite prepared for how dangerous that was going to be. Hey. I've heard this place is dangerous, but whatever that was was unnatural. Almost like some force does not want us here. Agreed. There's something greater going on here. And it's not Marinus. Hey. That was something else. <clears throat> we need to find the rest of our crew. Agreed. Hey. We're stronger together. Hey. And knowing this place, this is uh, not some place you want to be alone. The creatures here are the vast and very dangerous. Yeah, let's got an idea on how I can try and help. Hey, well, I will follow you. Okay. Yep, that works. I am going to do something very similar to what I'm pretty sure Ornan's about to do. I'm going to wild shape into a dire wolf. Mm -hmm. Yeah! And try and sniff out my friends. Or cool. listen for them. Yeah, make... um. If you want to try to, like, track them by scent as a survival check, if you want to try to listen for them, it's perception. So I'll leave it up to you. I will Are take... you having Gawain help? I don't know scout? if I can as a wolf. Because my... We discuss that. My we first instinct was know. to have Gawain possibly scout the island. A decent idea, but it's not one of my first focusing on. Um, to describe the island around you, everything here is made of made up of some sort of like white rock. Um, there are no trees that are visible. It is very rocky, almost almost kind of like mountainous terrain here. Very much like cliffs, canyons, uh, rocky hills, that kind of stuff. So the shore that you would be on would be kind of like on an incline almost, um, and around you are like sharp jagged white rocks and cliffs and you can see um like almost rivers like canyon rivers going through the island I assume ambrose is not with you amazing <laughs> so yeah uh i will I've my boy. utilize <laughs> no, Gawain my boy. to search okay, while also using my hearing because I have advantage on any hearing or smell based check for perception because of direwolf feature. Okay, with Gawain's help you can make a perception check with advantage. Well, I was going to use Gawain separately. Like I'm going to search 
and as the wolf, I already have advantage. Okay. And I was going to have Gawain also searching. Okay, that's fine. Okay, cool. Man, I'm really glad that I have a decent fucking perception mod, because holy shit, I'm not rolling well today. That is... Where is it? Perception... Uh, ooh, that's not as good as I thought it was. That is a 14. With a 14, you don't hear anyone or see anyone with Gawain. Okay. That was for me. Oh, just for you? Then you don't hear anyone. Okay. Yeah, because Gawain would be treated separately. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Gawain, similar shit, has advantage on anything that relies on hearing. Okay, if you want to listen out for them. Cool. What happens? That's better. Gawain rolls a twenty-one. Okay. Um, you would Gawain would be able to faintly hear um, people talking um, in the direction east of you. Okay. Does he recognize the voices? Uh, he recognizes it. He would recognize both. Uh, he recognizes the voices of Ambrose and Untha. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, he's with Untha. <laughs> poor man. Then I will indicate as best I can to. Amir, mm-hmm. that we need to head east. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll just, like, point at him with wolf nose and just... You just... <laughs> I think I understand. I still will follow you. And yeah, and then I just start heading east, trying to follow what Gawain could do. All right, and uh, Amir would follow you. Okay, rest of you, what are you doing? I would like to check on... Our captain. Uh, your captain seems to be fine. Um, he has quite a few like scratches on his chest that are chest that are visible. Um, but he seems relatively o- okay. Um, you see him kind of like pacing back and forth, um, and then he would like turn around to you and then like walk up to you. <clears throat> How are you feeling? You okay? Yeah, I, I, I feel fine. All right. Um, Just more worried about the fact that I don't see anybody else but you around. Yeah, we we need to get going. We cannot be alone here on this island. I I have something that can help. And that is? Um, I'm going to use my Bloodhound feature, and since I have spent mm-hmm. at least 24 hours, um, I'm going to spend one of my hit die okay. to learn the exact and general number of location of creatures in the area, or I'm going to focus on a single target, and I'm going to try to find Eve. Okay. Uh, in your location, you would definitely know where Eve is, um, and you would be able to easily track where she is. All right. I'm going to go. I'm going to go for Eve. Okay. Very good. So, uh... You and Valen uh, take off. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Uh, Mika, Eve, what are you guys doing? Oh. <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> so I'm with the Dark Steel Knight and who else? Manon. Manon. Okay. Cool. Yeah. <sighs> Get up. Manon comes over to you and just kind of like checks you over. She seems uh, very motherly, so just kind of like um, you can see her kind of like bandaging like part of your arm. And she goes, "You're awake. Are you okay?" Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm doing fine. Just a crank in my shoulder, but nothing. I can't walk off. How about you? We're we're doing fine. We need to go find the others. Okay. Yeah. I know how to. I know how we can do that. Right, so I'm going to try to focus on Dara's life energy. Oh! Okay. Uh, D20 what? with proficiency. I was like, yeah. of all the dudes with life energy, I pick the guy. That's like a gold mine. The guy. <laughs> I'm the guy. I'm 
Charisma plus proficiency. You got it. It's just so, D20 plus proficiency, I think, right? Or is that you right? said charisma plus proficiency, but either way. Uh, okay. Well, that's a Yeah, D20 plus your proficiency. So what was it? Well, I guess if... D20 plus proficiency at that point, that'd be a six. Yeah. Ha <laughs> You go to... Sense the life energy of your friend. And as you do, you don't make any sort of connection whatsoever. It seems like for some reason, where you are at right now, there is a force working against you. And you can feel... Almost like a physical block that does not allow you to use that power. I wonder what that uh, would be. It is, just like the, it is just like the husk world. This is going to be a lot trickier than I imagined. Okay. Um, just going to try one more time on focus on Bornand. Go ahead and try. <laughs> Ten. It's that same feeling. You go to sense that energy and again, seems like there's some sort of force working against you. Where is this place? <sighs> I'll try to think of something. In the meantime, Manon? What? Um, any ideas? <sighs> A lot of help you are. <sighs> I don't know how to navigate this place all that much. Step up my element. Don't, don't, oh, it's that You bitch. failed, you failed, I'm that's sniffing, all that is. I'm sniffing for ya. You can see that she kind of gets like frustrated at this point and instead of being motherly now, it's kind of like this almost like tough hearted veteran that she's like portraying as um you see her like stressing out um like putting her hand her, over her eyes and everything I don't know if we should go farther in I really don't with the creatures that are here and that I've heard of it's not safe in there but there are three of us I think we might be able to farewell but we would need to find someone in quick. Would you want to try just walking along the coast? Trust. That could work. That might be our best bet. Out in the open. And who knows? Maybe I'll find a sweet spot. Have trust. Yeah, sweet spot. All right, let's go. Uh, the knight like brings his sword over his shoulder and begins following Manon. And you guys begin to just walk. Yeah. Okay. Mikhail? Amanda, it's, I, I made the notes like, oh, everyone's gone except for Vicky. Well, I'm like, oh, fucking course. <laughs> so it's in my notes. Is she, like, awake? Is she woken up? Um, you would actually see her kind of, like, running back to you as you awake. Okay. <laughs> I look around. Hey, 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 hey. She's like, <gasps> grabs you by the collar. Just, time to wake up, time to wake up. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, we have much bigger issues than your... <laughs> Jeez. Hey, we gotta go. We're not in a good place. We gotta go. Can you give me a fucking second? Really can't. That's <laughs> what <laughs> Okay. Island, I assume? Yep, crashed, nowhere else to go. Okay, awesome, wonderful, splendid. I, have you seen anybody else? No, I just ran that way and I didn't find anyone. But, um, I don't think we're safe here. What makes you think that? Uh, <laughs> there were some things moving uh, deeper into the island and 
I couldn't really see them because they blended in with the environment, but I, I swear I saw something. Okay. A couple of them, actually. Awesome. I'm just going to look off into further in, I guess, further inland and just take a... Just take Make a, a perception view. check. You've been sitting on the lucky die. Please, for the love of God. You've been sitting on the lucky die. And I have a little lucky coin. Ah! <gasps> Thing that came with these dice because you think I'll be funny. <laughs> That's not so lucky. Ten. You don't see anything. You seem kind of like hazy for a bit. Like you can't really focus. But you get the sense that something else is watching you. Is it a waiting kind of watching or is it a you don't know okay okay um so you looked in the island and the island looked back oh slay well it's a whole big boy so that kind of vibes mm. um looking back out towards the sea <clears throat> are we close to the region in which we crashed or are we on a completely different part like a different side of the island than we would have been heading toward do I see Make a survival check. Anything. Do I see ship shit? Do you I would see... see ship parts washed ashore near you. Okay. But you don't see like a majority of it. It's just like bits and pieces. 17? You know you crashed probably a bit further away than where you initially okay. exploded from. And I don't see like footprints other than Vicky's going yep. in whatever direction she went. Okay. And looking at the ship shit. Do I, or like the general would say, I don't see anything that would have belonged to anybody, anything that's. Okay. Mm. So you already, you, you already went that way? Yeah, so maybe we go that way. What direction is that? What, where's the sun? Can I see the sun? Uh, no, there are clouds. Okay. Any spot of light where I go, the sun might be back there. Any spot of what? Light. Where I'm like, the sun's probably over there. Yeah, pff, you can make us another survival check. Oh, it is about midday, though, so that's not going to help at all. Never mind. But the sun also doesn't move. Forgot about that. Yep. I forgot that that's the case. I hate that boiled lobster bitch. Okay. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> the silliest. Uh, <laughs> boiled sure. lobster bitch. Yeah. Um, okay, then, yeah, I guess we'll just go the other way. Okay. So, for those of you who are not currently tracking someone, make a survival check. Me too. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Ten. We're gonna die today, aren't we? Okay. Ten. Okay. That equals twenty. We're lost. We did so together. good. We got a twenty together. I need One of you got a twenty to roll a D100. Oh. Okay. This motherfucker said encounter table. Or event table. That's the same thing. In my okay. Well. <laughs> A D100. Please. That's 90 and then 10. So. I got it as a zero. I think it's a just 90. a 90. Yeah, so 90. Yeah. I borrow some dark oh. birdie. Thank you, buddy. I need apple boots for uh, this. What's zero again? Is it just zero? Is it yeah, yeah, it's, it's just, just zero. Okay, so 50. I need a drink. <laughs> I need something stiff. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh. I don't like what he said that. Um, this is why I went after you. I don't you like when he says because a lot. Because I don't things. like it when you're alone. This is Thank why you for I know you can hold your own. Keith, for our own Thank sanity, we need you to stop talking. Like. <laughs> I, I said one word. <laughs> That's too many. Oh. Okay, well. Orin, <laughs> uh, can you sniff me? For a second. I, oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I know what that is. The 
I had wrote on it in marker because that's what you're supposed to do, and yeah. I had no idea what the fuck that it was. I now know that it's an L N for lawful neutral. I've written on it. Sometimes I have to remember that I have objects in my possession. Um, like when I spend yeah, so much cool. money on healing potions, and I have I already so have many three potions of greater healing, and then I bought two healing potions. In my possession, I don't have a whole lot. I have standard equipment, amulet of the devout, ironwood, magic mushrooms. Yeah, we also and other shit. Our silver tickets too. Yes, Mirage. As I have four potions of greater healing. You, the knight, and Manon begin to walk um, into the island. Um, you would begin to hear, like, rocks begin to, like... Um, go ahead and make a perception. What's your... Yeah, make a perception check. Make a perception check. Make a perception check. perception check. You keep that will roll on perception. Gonna, 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 yeah, talk that talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know that's right. Yeah. So. Oh. Okay. Well. No. Oh. Are you passing me the jail? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they could be in it. They could, they I could, need to see how they, they could be homies. Get the fuck back in there, you bitch! I love how this dice jail is getting so much use. Yeah. Business is booming. <laughs> <laughs> like, got that are your eve dice being able ago. to you? Give me these. Yeah. You don't build the barn, dumbass. As I broke the yeah. goddamn wheel. The dice, they do a great job at listening to you and changing. So they better. Yeah. We're gonna. No, you. I'm gonna try the That's Michael dice. Hey, way. Michael for the fucking win. Oh shit! All right. Yeah. Welcome back, Michael. Okay. So, uh, a nine doesn't hit. Um, no. 17 but, and 18. Um, you would be able to look up just in time as you we'll would you. see um, a Goliath with like fur armor, or not fur armor, but like fur clothing on, ah. who just smashes down right beside you. Fuck. You're able to, to sidestep get- out of the way um, <laughs> with this great sword that just crashes down into you, like breaking apart the ground beneath it. Um, he stands up and throws his great sword over his shoulder Fuck. and just points his finger at you. I was told to come here and do a bit of hunting. So here I am. Don't you fuck with my girl! <laughs> um, um, all this this single- item's not on the fucking menu. <laughs> <laughs> everything's on my, everything's on the menu when I'm fucking hunting it. And he's gonna go ahead and attack. So roll for initiative. It's <laughs> me. Hit to roll. How close? And play your little game. How close am I to her? Twelve. How close am I to you? Um I need a big strong man who could out big strong man this big strong man. I mean, I could try my best to out strong a Goliath, but. You're pretty big and strong. How? So, what was it for you? 12. 12. You will go first. So, go ahead and make an attack. All right. Let, let me just let me just look up some. something. I will do. Uh, I'll do Ray of Frost. Do how it. how tall is Eve again? It's Eve. It's five ten. Yeah, Goliaths are somewhere between seven to eight feet tall, oh. uh, weighing between two hundred and eighty to three hundred and forty pounds. <laughs> so that's a little too much. I have some balance. <laughs> Remember, do you have your cheat sheet out? I do have my cheat sheet. Get in front of your face. Yeah. Keep your restore balance shit ready. Yeah, even that, yeah. Yeah, for advantage and disadvantage, yeah. Oh, fuck. 
my uh What? I'm different about this. It's it's related to what we're talking about. I did a roll before I confirmed <laughs> that I wanted to do my uh my eye of the guardian. Okay. Yeah. So you and someone else get advantage on the next melee attack yeah. or next attack. Hell yeah, and that is a uh, a meta magic. Right? Yeah, when I use a meta magic mm-hmm. spell, so I leave. Yeah, so just subtle so spell, fucking ice bullshit. Okay. Yeah. And for that roll, I rolled a twenty. Twenty hits. Hell yes. That is six cold. Six cold? Yeah. Okay. Very Reduces good. speed. And I want to get some distance and then I get the the weak spot. A big boy. You're gonna to wanna to strike here and or here. Okay. Um He's got a bad he's got a bad leg. <laughs> the knight doesn't respond, just nods and readies for an attack. Um, okay, so it's going to be Manon and the knight's turn. So. Okay. Ooh. It was six points of damage for yours, was it? Yeah. Okay. With reduced movement speed. Cool. Um, yeah, so he gets advantage. Well, he doesn't need advantage in the first one because he rolled a nat 20. Uh, so okay, and then another attack that's going to hit. I'm guessing he's a barbarian. That's also going to hit. And then advantage. Okay, so both of those are going to hit. So another. Okay, and then he hits again. So that's. (laughs) Okay, so um, you mark the weak points on him. And after dealing uh, frost damage to him, uh, the knight runs up and just with his great or his broadsword um and just starts slashing into the goliath um hitting with every single attack um and now for manon's turn manon is going to let me save my woman uh you see her pull out a dagger, and she is going to attack twice. Um, neither of those hitting. Oh, wait. Actually, one of those will hit. Oh. Just a question. Is he, is the Goliath wearing armor? No. Oh, he's just tits uh, out. All right. Okay, so you guys start rushing him, slicing him with a whole bunch of attacks. Um, now it is his turn. Hey, buddy, he actually is overwhelmed by with how pretty Eve is and no longer wants to hit her. My hair is all wet and I just oof, they watch that shit. Yeah. Yeah. No, hey, you don't want to... You learned the error of your ways. Hey, you, you became a vegetarian. Hey, you, you, hey, you don't actually want to do that. You're vegan hey, now. Hey, um, actually, you're going to so deeply regret your actions if you kill her again. You, you want to eat coconuts and not me. Okay, well, so he is going to, one, take a javelin uh, like out of his back and just... Remember where I come from. Remember and he is going to say. throw it at you. At me? Wonderful. Remember what I've done for you. 14 doesn't hit. Does it? With Mage Armor? That's okay. fine. That's uh, with Mage Armor, that's my AC. Oh, never mind. Okay. Leverage meat. 
Bitch. You take nine points of piercing damage. I remember all the wonderful moments that we've had together, uh, Key. And that, how you would feel. He is then going to swing his sword at uh, Manon. And the knight. Oh, um. Hey, Keith, you really... You he swings know. his sword, and it just gashes uh, Manon right in, like, the, the stomach area. And then he, uh, like, turns around and slices at the knight, uh, who doesn't hit. Uh, so he slices at the knight, and the knight brings up a sword and, like, blocks it. Now they're kind of, like, clashing before they throw each other off. Um, okay, it is your turn now. Alrighty, like, I advantage. Advantage is nice. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to say my cell spots. Cell spots. Cell spots, yes. <laughs> my brain auto corrected. What are you doing, Eve? Cell spots, uh, but then I heard I don't sloth. Want to do... Sloth? So sloth. I think I'll do. Well, I'll do, I'll do shatter. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, get that motherfucker. Yeah, fuck him up. Yeah. Mm. Oh, right. I don't even think I've done that. I have the page two seconds. Um. I don't know what that is. I know. I'm it's more like a saving throw thing, but it, uh, I will not use advantage on that one. Okay. I'll probably save it for next turn. Alright, um. That's not how that works. Oh. No. Or. No, I mean, uh. Squirrely. What you doing? I'll use the advantage I have with this turn to just do uh, Brain of Frost again. Okay. And then I'll probably do Shatter next time. First roll. Cool, 23. Second roll. Yeah. With advantage. Uh, 15. I'll take the 23. Yeah. 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 Fuck up, big boy. Get. Eva Lima smash. Fuck. Seven cold. Okay. Get chilly. All right. Alright, that's my turn. Okay. Yeah. Manon in the night. Uh, Manon's going to attack. Doesn't hit. That one is going to hit. Alright. And now it's the knight's turn. Ooh, that one does not hit. That one does hit. That one doesn't hit. Okay, so he attacks once. That's what's gonna be. Okay. It is now his turn. And he is going to uh, take the last javelin out of his back and he's gonna throw it at you. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't like how that music cue happened as soon as you made the. Keith wants me to join the battle so bad it makes him look fucking yeah. stupid. So he takes the spear and he throws it at you and it just pierces straight into your chest, the direct hit. Um, you take 20 <laughs> points of piercing damage. Let me in there! Let me in! Let me in! Okay. That's a cash out. Uh, after that, he just kind of like lifts his head as he like closes his eye and he just goes. I love the smell of blood. And you can see his eyes just <laughs> bloodshot. Um, oh, is he a fucking As he character? starts uh, throwing his sword just wildly at those beside him. Oh, uh, he's a barbarian. Man it again. He's a wizard. Uh, which is going to hit. I know what I'm going to do next round. And he's going to attack the other one, which doesn't hit. Uh, so Manon is going to take... Okay. What? Oh. Okay, your turn. Alrighty. Shatter his ass! Shatter his ass! 
You place it right next to his asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Expand. <laughs> <laughs> He's All trying right. to get in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I killed He's, your partner. I'm sorry. He's Normal. trying to get into my ass. <laughs> Enhance. Expand. She's trying to get to <laughs> my ass. Alright. Alright, so I'm also going to use uh, meta magic because I do want to bust out the arm. The grabby hand. Okay. Yeah. Yeet his so ass silent in spell the ocean. As I'm just like panting. So it looks like I'm not saying anything. Okay. But it's going to get it's gonna get the jump on him. Alrighty. Uh... Each creature thing. Yeah, so. Alright, I'm gonna need him to roll a constitution saving throw. Very good. <laughs> Ten. That would fail. That's a fail. One B, two B, three B. D8. How many do eight do you need? Do you need eight D8? Uh oh no for shatter it's uh, level two, so just the threes. Yeah. Uh um, Manon and the knight 14? both have to make constitution saving throws as well. Oh shit, they're right there. Too? Place it behind they're in yeah, melee range. Oh, put it behind him. It's in a ten foot radius sphere. Because you can place it to where the edge of it will get it. That yeah. if you place it far enough behind him to right where the edge yeah. of the shadow will like hit. I, I just like pick a point. And then it goes. Yeah. I mean, real simple question here. How tall is the Goliath compared to everyone else? Seven to eight feet tall. Yeah, he's taller than everyone else. Okay, so put it right above his head and catch his head. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. There you go. New head. All right. So it's going to be... 14 thunder damage straight to his dome. <laughs> Jesus, dome. okay. Yeah, and so... Yeah, it's part of your <clears throat> big, like, alarm bell ringing sound as it makes, like, this bass crunch explosion. Okay. <clears throat> this really obnoxious, violent-sounding nonsense. Mm-hmm. And then, like, I get I get big, stretchy hand. Yeah. I get so I'm pretty sure that's, what, 6d8 damage? Something ridiculous like that. So I think the hand is another 3d8. Uh, 3d6. Oh, okay, so 3d8 plus 3d6. That's still a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, hey. Ooh, I don't know if you had enough d6, so I was going to hand you one. I did, but I like this one. Right. With the I power have... of Dara in my hands. No, it's not do you want one for me? Dice, do you but... want one for me too? Yeah, oh my god, this is such an anime one. Can I, can I get a d3 or a d6 from you? Just one. Six. Oh my god, the power of friendship. This is... The colors you got going on? Yeah, he rolls all sixes, red. just okay, annihilates so him. I'm gonna give you this one. Wow, friendship! But the power of all three of us combined. The power of friends combined. No, it's all gonna be one sixes. One shall be annihilated. It's all gonna be sixes. I'm gonna survive. Shut his fucking death. Demon number two six, 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 six. <laughs> Damn. Right. And 11, 11 psychic damage. Okay, okay. Okay. May I have my D's? So Just, uh, you're red, right? I'm gonna eat it. Yep. Yeah. Of course I am. I'm gonna eat it. Just a big ass haymaker. <laughs> Chris Redfield haymaker. <laughs> Boulder explodes. <laughs> okay, very good. All right, cool. Epic. 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 Potions are bonus action, right? Isn't a certain god uh, supposed to be in half our movement. battles? Half movement? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I'll, 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 take, a, I'll take a potion oh. of healing. Uh, my man, was it, was it 2d4 plus 2? For a basic healing potion? Yeah. Yes, 2d4 plus 2. Yeah. Cool, cool. Thank you. Eva. Damn. Hey, that's a one, one, and, and that's a... I got four health back. Damn. That is oh, back the worst healing potion. Sh- no one yeah. has a healing potion. Whoever wrote that needs to be fired. Shit ass healing potion. Yeah. 
All right. I got four health. That's fine. That's fine. I'm at 20. <laughs> I'm hanging in there. I had a cool moment. I passed my turn. So how far away am I? Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, after you blast him with Shatter and then, like, you can see as Shatter forms around his skull and bing, you see him, like, daze for a second as his, like, eyes roll in the back of his head. And then as he, like, regains focus, just this ethereal fist out of nowhere just right in the gut. You can actually see him just, like, vomit just everywhere. <laughs> Um, and as he's like doubled over, um, Manon takes the dagger, flips it in her hand, and just sh- like right into his yeah. diaphragm as the knight comes over and just sh- just yeah. chops off one of his arms entirely. Holy Marvel fuck. three. Damn. Yeah, Marvel vs. Captain. Right yeah. up his fucking sternum and shit. You can see he's on his last legs, but his eyes flare up once again. He grabs his sword and begins to start slashing even more. As one last, like, haymaker attempt. Um, okay, so whee! one's going to be at Manon that hits. One's going to be at the knight, which misses. And then as he, like, tries to slash at the knight, he, like, spins around, and he's going to chuck his sword at you. Jesus. Um, okay. So he hits Manon. He four. doesn't, because you want to know why? He's so stupid he's going to miss. He is, yeah, he's he is so a big. fool. He got his brain all screwed. So Manon's still alive. There's just eggs over there. Uh, cheese. 24 oh, oh, oh. to hit. 24 to hit? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm going to say that misses. Hits. What? That's what's crazy. <laughs> Even numbers don't work out. You take yeah. 11 points of piercing damage as he <laughs> spears through the air and hits you. But it is now your turn. How bad does this guy... He's lost an arm. There's a dagger embedded into his diaphragm. He's bleeding out everywhere. All right. So In terms of fish, not many. Um, a small that that pond is near empty. I'm going to do a magic missile. And, yeah, yeah, I'm going to do magic missiles level one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Would you like a D- um, Yeah. Um, I'll describe something cool. I got so, 3D. Uh, power born in it. <laughs> Come on, baby. Okay. Four, seven. Four, seven. That That's a one. Oh. So four, eight, eight plus eleven plus three. Sorry. Yeah. So eleven force damage. That's what I was trying to say. And because you played Devil May Cry four, yeah, remember it's a long when, time ago. Yeah. When he's fighting the savior and the sword is stuck in him and shot Dante shoots like five bullets into the hilt and they all just stack and push the sword. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna do that with the magic missiles. Just all blasting the dagger that just like, the sternum. <laughs> yep. Okay. That's all right. that shit all the way through. That's so fucking cool. Easy enough. You cast magic missile on each one. Flies through the air. One of them hits the dagger and you can hear him just like, like lose all of his air before the other two. The hilt of the dagger gets lost as it's buried into his sternum, the t- very tip of the dagger now pointing out like his spine as he just collapses to his knees and crumples to the ground. Eat shit and die. <sighs> okay. The rest of you, as you guys are trying to find each other, you would hear the sounds of battle in the near distance. Um. Yeah, Ornan, you would be the first to run up on this scene to see um, a spear being dislodged from Eve's chest by Manon and the knight um, with this massive Goliath just on the ground. I thought you said Manon in the night. And I was like, that's a sick book title. <laughs> Manon in the night. Just kind of fall to my knees a little. Or I'm just like, I'm trying to stand up, but I am wavering. Um, you hear Valen call out. I think the gods are alive. And he runs over to you all. I'm gonna book it towards you and I'm gonna, like, as I'm running, like, grab out a healing potion and I'm just gonna, like, grab the back of your head, just open your mouth! Uh, uh, and pour the healing potion. <laughs> 11 points of healing. That's way better than the four. Ooh, I guess one. Okay, I have to. Yeah. Pause. And pause. What? What are you? 
at out of currently at twenty out of forty nine. I'm gonna use my last healing potion on you. Guys, I'm a fucking healer. That's eight more. <laughs> You're gonna... not here! Back to the... choking. Yeah, <laughs> the fact that I have to take a shower. Is Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Arden. Sorry, just, just, oh, just play those for a second. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry. I just, I panicked and I gave you the last of my yeah. healing potions. I don't really I, need them. Are you, are you sure? Okay. I'll be fine. Uh, can you help me with this big giant thing sticking out of my chest? Not the flower, the... <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try to remove the spear in the least painful way. Okay, that's easy enough to do. I just... I just go... Countdown? No! N- no, just... Close your eyes! Don't <laughs> Yes, the least painful way possible. <laughs> Ripping it out. Yep. Faster is better. Faster is better than slow. It's and then like the potion the just bandage. works really fast and just seals it up. Yeah. But Essentially. It but it doesn't yeah. work all the way, so I just like. <laughs> yeah. Because it's just a little baby healing. I'm just like. <laughs> okay. I'm just sitting there, like trying to like stop the bleeding by You're the one there. who fucking hunted. Why are you whining about it? Huh? Said you lived in Igis. This would be a normal thing. Yeah, no, I know. Oh, it's just concern. I think. It, okay. it is concern. It's like a. <laughs> stop! stop. <laughs> okay. I'm glad your senses are as sharp as ever. My life energy stuff isn't working here. There's something that. I I wonder it. if it has to do for the fact that maybe this place has to do with death. Yeah. It's got a bad vibe. Maybe like um, that. I don't. I, so, I, yeah. I, um, maybe we should check out. Mammon, how are you doing? I'm going to. I'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, she's like wrapping herself in bandages. I want to loot the Goliath. No. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Uh, make an investigation check. No. Go at it, Bloodhound. <laughs> A ten. No. Bye. God damn it. I didn't Jesus. know that, that was you, Nate. <laughs> Single. Where has the been? Okay, mighty. Um, what was it? A ten. You don't really find anything special on this guy. He didn't really have anything on him. The only thing was the great sword. Meh. Boring. Yeah, you have so many cabbies. No, you don't need extras. Okay, so, um, all of you again would hear the sound of battle. Um, Ornan be the first one to find Mirage. Um, Dara, as you traveling through, um, you would pick up on the scent of Ambrose. Yes. And eventually, as you kind of like round like a rocky corner, um, you would come face to face with Ambrose, who Ambrose immediately freaks out seeing a massive wolf coming around the corner, and you see him like getting ready to throw a fucking eldritch blast like a baseball. Just whoosh, borf. That's the cold opening. <laughs> and then the <laughs> and then welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, Dara. Hey. Oh, you scared. Oh, okay. Where, where is everyone else? No. Right. Um, Amir would come like trotting up alongside you. Oh, hello. Um, I'm glad we're safe. Do you know where everyone else is? No. I am. Um, I haven't seen the rest of them, but we did hear the sound of battle. It was coming up that way. Right, as did I. Um, maybe we should head that way first. I think that's where everyone else is. All right. Um, as Ambrose keeps walking, you definitely notice Untha is not with him. And you definitely would have known Untha was with Ambrose. I mean, I had. Gawain had his 
had heard him. Mm -hmm. Could Gawain continue helping me hunt? Could he? Yes. If you want to, yeah. Yeah, I'd rather have everyone. Okay, make a perception check. And using his stats... That'll do. Unnat 20. Untha is nowhere around. Whatsoever. Huh. Untha what? So, you guys would continue on, and Mirage, you and Vicky would again hear the sounds, and eventually all of you guys would meet up where Mirage is at. No, oh, no one else is hurt. I'm fine. Okay. You're fine. I'm glad you guys are safe. Yeah, what a wild ride that was. <sighs> that was. That's a huge bitch. Yeah. He showed up, he said he was hungry, and I did, no time for did he say lines. anything else? Or was he just like, oh, blah, blah, and then He was just visceral and said he wanted to eat us. That doesn't make sense. You see Valen, who's crouching beside him, he looks up. This is Thorn. He was a part of Silvertooth's crew. Was he always like that? As far as I know, yes. He's a vicious hunter who's come from Igis. Do you know what clan I do not. No worries. I have my suspicions, but that's fine. Vicky said she saw things moving in the fucking inland, by the way. Yes, I did. Um, creatures that seem to blend in with the, the island itself. Doesn't White sound creatures. Great. Doesn't sound awesome. Oh! Hmm? The, what'd you say? White. <laughs> <laughs> for, oh! those, for those at yeah. home. <laughs> you, you said there were like... The, the in the husk world things that you were being sent to that had to do like the yeah the, the crossover with the Scorsi guy and then the the husk world and stuff and like the parasite dude with the white skin and the yeah Shit, it could be them yeah <sighs> see I I look at Ambrose see I remember things and I'm intelligent and I pay attention he gave me shit for that not long ago and that husk today world, in fact very very overwhelming numbers. Great! We're gonna be on our toes. That's awesome. I know that this island is full of these types of creatures. That's why it is dangerous for sailors to come through. Yeah. Now we're stranded on here, so we have to be careful. How the fuck are you taking? Can I watch closer? Like, maybe like... Because I want to reuse my bloodhound feature to um or the sanctioned sign um to up to smell the approximate living creatures within 60 feet of me okay is is that like an action or do you need to roll or anything or you just know I just want to be, because it's the third level, your senses become perpetually attuned. The sense. It's a fucky word. Preternaturally. Whatever the fuck that means. Um, you can draw a deep breath and immediately track the scent of creatures around me for the next 10 minutes. I'm able to smell the approximate number of living creatures within 60 feet, but since it's gone upgrade, it's increased to 120 feet. Within 120 feet, you smell the people around you. Mm -hmm. You would approximately smell at least a little more than a dozen other creatures around you. This could be Kind of just turn around. We are severely outnumbered. (sighs) All of you would get this feeling of being watched. Almost as if you were being hunted. 
Can I try to make a perception check to see if I see Mm -hmm. anything as well instead of smell? Just by the way. Can I listen out with myself and going? Mm hmm. Because I am still a wolf. Mm-hmm. Or? <laughs> or? <laughs> ten. Uh, Gawain, 19, ten. and for myself. With a 10, you don't see anything. I'm just, I'm smelling dozen. What the fuck? That was weird. Uh, Gawain got a 19 on both die, and then I got a 21 on both die. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Period. You would be able to hear... Kind of like chittering sounds, like in the distance. But then you would also faintly be able to hear, like almost like a demonic, like growling. In the near distance, it seems to be coming from almost all directions. Because uh, what I'm what I'm smelling is around twelve. Obviously going to be more. Yeah. Like I obviously smell all of you, but uh cool. I'm gonna try to do uh Bastion of Law. Mm-hmm. I know that there's some sort of strange force that's preventing me from connecting to others' life energy. Oh. I wonder if I could still do it within myself. Last time I was in one of these husk worlds, they feared this light. The only way I was able to get out, so. Wait, if you're not sensing people's light, would that cause problems for Dara? For a healing? What was the question? If she can feel other people's life energy yeah. not here, is that going to cause problems for Dara when healing? What are you able to I think I could still, throw spells at that thing? Yeah, I can still draw upon a wearer's magic. But so life energy is but coming maybe, from a different pool. Yeah. yeah, but maybe life in general here on this island might be a big no no. Are healing potions considered magical? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So then I mean that worked. Yeah. So yeah, we magic works. Be fine? The essence of the planet itself, maybe not. Yeah. Well, hey, fingers crossed, yeah. and we will press that bridge when we get there. I if we'll try a bastion of law when we get there. Okay. Specifically, if. All right. And. Yeah. It works. <sighs> okay. okay. So I got my cool golden aura. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just can't connect to others with it. I just Shall we just, uh, can I just have to stay close, I guess. What is your thing doing that circles your head? What is what is it is it pointing anywhere? Let's find out. Alright. You're looking deeper into the island and as it does, it begins to vibrate rapidly. Fucking alien isolation the motion detector. What, in one direction? Sorry, I was writing down. Mm-hmm. It just goes deeper into the island. <sighs> oh, great. Maybe if, every, further in. if yeah. everyone is feeling at least mildly okay to keep going, shall we continue? I don't like the idea of Sin and everybody else getting too far ahead of us. It's ma- uh, it's making me uncomfortable. I don't like. Stuff. I have enough spell slots to pass on a bastion of law to three more people. What does that do? Well, last time I was in the husk world, it was what repelled those creatures off of me. Well, I don't have a problem with those creatures, but I would rather you save those for yourself. In my personal opinion. It's best we all just get cozy. Bunch up a little. Yeah. Numbers are going to be the only way that we can survive this. I'm gonna look down at Vicky. Don't fucking touch me. 
Why would I do that? You think that's important right now? Just making sure we're on the same page. Let's move. <laughs> okay, so you guys continue deeper into the island. Maybe an hour or so would pass of you traveling through this island, um, hopping over like deep uh, river canyons, uh, traversing this white rocky terrain every once in a while, uh, catching a glimpse of these white creatures that appear to just kind of be everywhere. Every once in a while, you would hear the sounds of this demonic roaring um, in the near distance. Um, you always feel as if you're being watched, hunted, stalked. You keep on going until um, you enter like this crater-like area. You're standing on the edge of a crater. Um, this large, um, like indented bowl at the very bottom of it, you see like pools of water everywhere. Um, you would also be able to hear the sounds of a skirmish. And as you look down into this crater, um, you would see towards the center, the rival crew who is fighting off these white creatures, the amalgamation of skulls on their body, their um, large sinewy flesh connecting their jaw, um, this almost like humanoid-like creature that is in all fours attacking them. You can see them just like surrounding this group. There's maybe like five of them and this um, team of people are fending them off. Um, as that happens, uh, Valen looks down at all of them and so does the rest of the crew. Um, you can see his like eyes go wide as he spots his brother down there. I forgot. Um, you see him like start breathing faster. Um, you can hear the crackle of electricity that surrounds his body. Um, and he looks like he's about ready to like blast off down there. Um, and Manon kind of like grabs his arm really quick and looks at him and goes, we need to be smart about this. If we go charging in, they're just going to run. And you just see him like look back at her now with like anger in his eyes ready to go. No. What no, do you she, guys want to do? She's right. Then we just have to deal with them and they'd be gone and then we couldn't chase them. Because down. there is... No Gotta wait it out, I think. Yeah, my first instinct is to wait it out and see what oh. happens. Because either that creature, whatever it is down there, is going to weaken them, then it's going to be easier for us, or the group defeats it, and then they're still going to be pretty weak afterwards. It's, e it's going to be easier to grab your brother, Valen. Oh, I'd be in a lot of wild shape at this point. It's been an hour. Hmm? I'm at a wild shape at this point. It's been an hour. Okay. There. <laughs> and then we can grab your brother and like at least separate him from the rest of the crew and then kill them. That's not a bad idea. It's like either way, it's going to be awaiting him. If we charge right down there, it's going to divide the tension. We're going to end up getting hurt. And if we end up getting hurt and distracted, the enemy might turn on us and giving them a way to escape. And I was like, I don't think that's going to be necessarily the right move. Agreed. So basically, we just need to be smart about it. Like, no, I'm not saying, yeah. We need to wait. Agreed. I think patience would be our best option here. Wait it out, and then once they're done, we continue to follow them. Okay. So, Valen would agree but hesitantly um and you guys would continue watching this group fight off these uh quadruped creatures um finally though they would dispose the rest of the creatures and then they would continue moving forward and you can see that there is an exit to this crater at the other end where it looks like they're continuing forward into do you think we can Go around the crater? Take too much oh. time. Yeah, take too much time. We go through. And we know that the crater's been at least partially cleared out. Yeah. Whereas anywhere outside of the crater, we don't know. Are there any, like, mountainous, like, things, like, obscuring vision while in the crater? Doesn't look like it. Looks like it's 
just like a bowl. Okay. Can I just make an extra perception check to see if there's anything kind of like blending into the ground? Oh, you're saying that they hide, yeah. That they blend like the creatures? Yeah. You can. Could I also do the same thing? Mm-hmm. I would also like that. Because I was like, okay. from our perspective, they might just melt into the ground. Mm-hmm. So. Shit down. Fuck! 15. None of you would be able to see anything blending into the ground. Okay. That's not honestly bad. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> this is this is nightmarish. Okay, we I should continue onward. We go, yeah. So are you just following <laughs> them? Are you trying to be like stealthy at all? Trying I'd what are you like trying to do? To try to be stealthy. Should we wait until they're kind of like mid no. exit? No, no. We just no. Yes. Oh. If we just start following them, they look they're around just, one time and there we are. Oh, they're like, oh, hi. Yeah, so we need to wait. Let's wait a little bit and then. So that way there's some gap distance between us and then we need to be somewhat quiet because it's a crater and noise will echo. And you could also, at some point, use your scent I, to I follow was go- sin, So I was going. So we don't to. have to worry about following directly behind them if we're at least able to we'll sniff them out. She has blood. Uh, and um, then in order for me, I need to be yeah. within 30 feet of her within 24 hours. Okay. Okay. So you guys would wait that. for them to exit the crater. And as they exit on the other side, you guys would um, descend but into I the crater and continue walking. Um, you guys begin to walk past these like pools of water um, when you would be able to hear at that point, like a demonic howl. And as you turn around, you would see a few of these creatures start descending the walls of the crater, just at breakneck Run! speed. Just <laughs> so my first instinct is to run. They all descend the walls around you, not from like the entrance, just to the side. They're all converging on you. You see at least four of them coming in after you. So, okay. what are you guys doing? What the you fuck is run? That? I don't know. Are we thinking noon time? You guys are incredibly fast, but we don't know how fast a dog is. So we can try. It's not a bad idea. Mm-hmm. Um. I, I don't want to. I don't want to lose them. I could. Yeah, losing them is a bad idea. But also, going into a fight is going to make a lot of fucking noise. I did have a realization, and I have a question for you. Mm-hmm. Iker. Yep. Yep. Iker Felim. That's him. That has the tree sap in it, right? Mm-hmm. Is that something that like? Is that something consist? I don't remember. We had kind of asked the clown about it a little bit, and then also <laughs> the, also we asked the clown and also Toth Mill, um, about that stuff. That's like the one of the main ingredients that's in Ingerfellamine. Mm-hmm. Is that something that they only take when they need to go sicko mode, or is that something that is consistently in their body? I don't remember. You don't know. Yeah, oh, we don't know that. I thought that we had asked the clown. Or Tothmel. Um, they also both weren't that willing to talk about it. Yeah. No. Fuck. I think it is only for emergencies, actually. Yeah. Because Iker felt because the clown was like he said only to use it in emergencies, so I think that it's not a consistent thing. So my idea doesn't work anyway. Your dice should be good. I could try to, if people go kneel, I can use my little boot boys and try to like fly over, like behind. And if they try to go, I just, and then like keep them off of you guys. I mean, you could, yeah. Could try that. I would I mean, like you're you You're incredibly to fast fly. because of your boots, so. Yeah, and so at the very I least, would like you to fly. I can <laughs> come here and like throw them away and like pick them off. I was like, I don't want you or to get hit. Them from 
trying to keep him away from you guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fly. So. Because I'm like, if we're going to make a fucking run for it, essentially. I will mostly be protecting Dara then. Because Dara's the the slower of us. Yeah. I'll be below you. (laughs) Unless you. You'll be in front, but I'll be below you. But I feel like that would be a. I am running low on those. Yeah. We have a dwarf with us. So that's why I'm like. Yeah, so, we do. yeah, so I'm planning on... I'll just stick to Amir will be the slowest unless he has some kind of speed increase. And so you I can take like someone run. else so on your yeah. broom. Yeah, take Amir. Or you can't take me. Yeah. Take take Amir, someone on your broom. Amir, get on. We're human. Well, we're, we're making a run for it. Okay. Hang just, on tight. Uh, don't make it weird. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Good. <laughs> we're, we're booking it. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna start running, and then as I go, I'm just gonna and just take off, and then like once I get a little bit up, turn around and wait until everybody runs under me, and then just watch and kind of fly backwards and keep them. I'm gonna focus on that. So if they get too close, I can thank you for going. Okay. You so you guys are running. All right. So, um. I'm running with Mirage just in case anything tries to knock her out of the sky. Okay, so everyone else who's not flying is just booking it towards the exit. Um, The four creatures would descend the side of the crater and begin to make ground on you guys who are running. They seem uh, considerably faster than those who are on the ground. Um, And as you guys are continuing to run... I need for those on the ground to make strength saving throws. Oh, I can do that. Great. That's peculiar. I don't see this going wrong at all. Oh. Strength, one of my greatest stats. <laughs> I believe in you. You can do this, Dara. 13? Hey. 24. Okay. So. As you guys are running, you would begin to hear the churning of water. And the pools of the water almost seem to come alive. And Dara, as you are running through one of the closest pools of water, um, almost like a watery tendril goes out of the water and wraps around your legs and begins to drag you into the pool. Um, Cool. I got you, cool. So you are dragged down into the water. You're dragged 20 feet into this like murky water. I need you now to go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, immediately. Oh, immediately you're in the water. Okay. Cool. Hey, you're in the water immediately, by the way. And I have (laughs) heavy armor on. You're in the water right now. Wisdom saving throw? Yep. (gasps) At least that's a good one. Unless I roll like shit. That's a 12 with a plus seven. Jesus. You take 11 points of Drowning damage. damage. <laughs> I didn't do the type of damage. I think it's psychic. Yeah, the, the wisdom saving throw. Wisdom right. saving throw, it's either gonna be, it's gonna be magic or psychic or some yeah. shit. Looking it up, what time is damage does it do? It does uh, psychic do. damage. Ah. Uh, yeah, I'm not resistant to that shit. Oh, my brain. <laughs> no, my brain. As you are pulled into the water and you're looking around, you can see a silhouette of some creature that has long tentacles behind it and it seems to flow uh kind of swim in the distance you just see the silhouette of it and whatever it is it begins to hurt your head a lot so dara is pulled into the water and now i'm going to make uh so glad to be a spell caster fails Fails. I'm underwater as a spellcaster yeah. with heavy armor on. And I can't wild shape into a fish. Yeah. This is how I die. Don't worry, we have um, our honorary spear with us. Um, okay. Dara, you would hear the splooshing of three other people who are dragged into the water as well. Um, you see them kind of like grasp onto their heads before they quickly start to swim back up. So um, you guys would see these pools of water come to life and start dragging your uh, teammates into the water. What are you guys doing? How far down did Derek get? 20 feet. 20 feet. 
I stop and <laughs> I'm gonna start charging towards where Dara was. Okay. Um, I am going to. <laughs> Do you want to try to help aid me? Because I'm, I'm gonna, gonna I'm gonna attempt to. I'm probably going to dive and try to tie the rope to Dara, yeah. and then. I, I can land and send the broom down. Scoop him up. I'm... Is the broom waterproof? I feel like it would I mean, be. it's magical, so sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. So would my shoes be considered magical? Uh, because sure. how much magical can form? the, the yeah, broom they're carry? Proof. 500 pounds. How heavy are you? Uh, Is not 500 pounds. 495. With equipment, I might be. Impressive, but Because I'm like, I'm like, if I leave some of the rope out and you... Tie it to the fucking broom and just. I feel like that's gonna take too long. Hold on. How much shows you weigh? Just hoping that you just dive, you could just dive in the water and just scoop him, s- slip from between his legs and just. Yeah. I thought you we calculated that you were like three hundred eighty pounds or something like that. Yeah. I think by nice. myself. Uh huh. Three hundred and fifty. Without plus, equipment. Yeah, you could have plus forty the broom, from the shield you know. plus your equipment, which has got to be at least yeah, my, an so extra thirty ish pounds. One attuned item, I'm three hundred and ninety. So you got to be at least D&D like forty twenty. D and D Beyond calculates it for me. So hold on, I haven't pulled this one up in a minute. I have one hundred and eleven pounds of equipment. <gasps> Motherfucker is five hundred pounds. Well, That's just six, six, three ninety plus one ten. No, you're right. 500 deaths. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Or why am I worried? You must be the strongest motherfucker on planet Earth. Yeah, I am a little around. over 500, so. Yeah. The plan, Damn. Could, the plan could work because he's not over 500. I am. No. You're exactly 500. No, that's not. No. A weight carried 111.96 and it's okay. over the fuck. Impressive. I'm worried. <laughs> yeah. I'm worried about Damn it. getting in the water and then. Well. I did kind of purposely do this. Yeah. Either way, I'm I will like handle myself you, yeah. or I will drown. <laughs> this is my character decision and I'm going to suffer for it. I whip the broom around and then just watch people with a plan. With the help the others. The broom. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to need someone to help me in assisting. In, t- in pulling? Okay. Help the others. I will handle myself. Um, will you? I help you. I am capable of handling myself. Do it. Yeah, I will. Um, so Good what Lord, are you guys doing? Help the others. These creatures are now descending, and for those who are remaining above, which I believe is just uh, Valen at this point, Valen okay. and Ornan, um, you two are in the air. You're with the mirror. Uh, so the halfling, the knight, and Manon were all pulled down with Dara. I... I'll, I'll go for the knight. Okay. I am going to keep my focus on the creatures and try to, um, like, what, how far away are they from the person who's the farthest back? They're maybe 30 feet before. Cool. I'm gonna go to the nearest one. I'm gonna sure. fucking fly right at it. I'm gonna full force just Superman, like, and just punch it. Okay. I'm gonna go try, ahead and I'm make gonna an try attack. to distract and keep them away. <sighs> Please, for fuck's sake. I think I need to bring out the other set. Oh no. Oh no. Cool. So, it doesn't put the gloves power off. Oh. And uh, with the momentum of that about to happen, I flip and try to kick one of them in the head instead. Sure. I do like a little somersault in the air. I'm like, oh shit, and then I'll just poof, and yes. I'm gonna fucking lose my mind. So that didn't work. Okay. Oh. Bonus action. <laughs> I'm gonna save my key points. I'm just gonna do a normal attack again. (sighs) 
Wonderful. Let's all roll for initiative. I don't suppose a fucking ten hits. Nope. All right, you guys go first. Okay. So. Oh. What are you guys doing? So I'm currently underwater. How close is bitch? What bitch? The silhouetted one. Well, it's far away. Oh. You can only see the silhouette. Oh. That's not a fucking problem. Yeah, I'll just swim up the 10 to 20 feet and crawl out. Okay, easy enough. You're able to swim up and crawl out. Uh, there. 20 feet, that's 30 feet of movement. Okay. Now, what the fuck are the enemies? Um, this one, this one, this one, this one. Okay. I don't have to think. I didn't think I was going to get out of the water that easy. Did you say the water had moved? Mm-hmm. It's probably going to try to... Oh, I know. <gasps> but I'm not drowning. Which is great. Uh... Just... No. Only one way to find out. Uh, I am going to cast Sacred Flame on the one closest to me. This okay. one? I believe I had a dexterity save. But it has been a minute since I have... Yes, I need a dexterity save. This is a nice collective. Maybe we should give these ones to Keith. Natural 20. To All right. Yeah. Hey, Keith, you're only allowed to use these <laughs> D20s, yeah. the ones that are in the jail. Okay. That's it. That's all I can do. Wonderful. Sacred Flame sucks ass. Welcome to being a cleric when your options are Toll the Dead or Sacred Flame. Yep. Mm-hmm. And they're both fucking saving throws. Yep. Yeah. Okay, uh... Can I try to whack the guy again? Sure. Thank you. Oh, my, my gloves are back, right? Yep. Okay. I always forget how that works. I should write it down, but I know if I try to, I'm not gonna understand what I wrote down. Okay. Who's one round? Oh, can't see it. Well, I get two attacks, and then a bonus action. You don't build a barn, don't you? Is that... 18 plus three. That hits. Huzzah! Huzzah! Okay. Uh, 11 points of damage. And then, is it still alive? The one that you hit? Yes. Yeah. And then I do a bonus. Uh, wait, 11 points of bludgeoning? Yeah. Okay. Magical bludgeoning. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Sacred bludgeoning. <laughs> Radiant. <laughs> <laughs> and then bonus action bonk as well. That is a natural point. Hey. Yeah! I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Welcome back. This doesn't happen often enough. Roll, double, add more card. I had to think about it. What was that? I don't know. Okay. (laughs) Fuck off. (laughs) Right? Five. Yes. You said roll, double. (laughs) So, So that's ten. Uh, 14 for the damage. Okay. And that's it. All right, very good. It's still alive. <laughs> 20, I was like, what? 20. Five. Five points. Yeah. Okay. All right, who's next? What are you doing? I'm gonna try to assist the knight with getting out of the water. Okay, very good. Um, you dive in and assist him in getting out. Mm-hmm. So that'll be a help action, so it's easy enough to do when you help him out of there. And this guy behind me. Did you, you dive did you dive into the water or just helping him out? I would help him get out. Okay. I go for yeah. This guy bad. Nope. No. That's Val. Ah. Uh. I'm gonna stay where I am. Okay, very good. And what are you doing, Mirage? 
I'll store bad, right? Yep. All right. I'm going to broom swoop over here. Careful. Oh. oh. Shit. Either way, I want to lower us down. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. I want to lower us down on the ground. On the yeah, ground. Squish at that, please. Thank you. Put me down. And I'll start blasting. Start blasting. I'm good at Yeah, I'll throw a. Uh, I'll do a ray of frost at uh, the white one. Okay. Hell yeah. <laughs> Come on, Michael. God damn it, Michael. Michael! 12. <laughs> Michael! Does not hit. No! It does not hit. Last turn. Okay. So. Um, okay. May the creature's turn. Ah, uh, okay. On each other. Yep. We win. Yes. Yes. I should have fucking used my movement. Hey! I should have used my movement. I didn't do anything. I missed. What do you want him? You. Oh. Okay. So, as you descend onto the battlefield in Macau, as you go and hit them, uh, they form together like a pack, and they're going to attack Macau and Mirage. Oh, are they using pack tactics? Oh Jesus! I don't know. If they are, okay, so they're gonna be able to hit me. Yeah. First creature against Mirage. That's gonna hit. Um, so the first one is going to bite you with twenty-four to hit, um, and it's going to do yeah, that'll hit. five points of piercing damage. Um, and as it sinks its teeth into you, uh, you feel a uh, venom begin to pierce through oh, awesome. your veins. So you take out two points of poison. Awesome, 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 awesome. Second so creature. I also want uh, for my Bastion of Law to reduce the damage of that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Hell yeah. Reduce it by four. Very good, okay. So that's just like three the four of the, so I'm technically poisoned right now? You're not poisoned. You're not poisoned. Okay. It's just poison. poison damage. Okay, so you said that that was like seven total damage. The bite? Yes. Yeah, five yes. piercing, two poison. Yes. Okay, so just three. Hell yeah. Second creature is going to attack for a 23. Jesus. <sighs> that hits everyone in the party. Fucking yeah. chompas. Uh, five points of piercing plus another two points of poison. You gotta double check the attack, or is it Okay. Like... Um, so, Macau. Hi. First one is actually. Sorry, what was the total damage again? So seven. Seven. Okay. And then the other one. Yeah. Just the three. Okay. So. Because um, it was once again five piercing and then two. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So that was the first attack and the second yeah. one. It was the same. It was the same. It was okay. the exact same numbers for both. First yeah. one is going to okay, bite you. you. Yeah. Okay. So. Sixteen to hit. Four. Uh, that is more Okay. Okay. Oh, four points of piercing. Plus seven points of poison. <gasps> four points of piercing. Plus seven points of poison. You can do it. I believe in you. Thank you. I, for welcome. some reason, my brain was like, we're now in the in the 30s, and I was like, no. <laughs> um, okay. okay, the second one, um, it kind of like rears back and you can see all like the skulls that it has around its body. Um, it begins to like inhale and you see like this green cloud begin to form in the back of its throat before it just <laughs> uh, You need to make a dexterity saving throw for me. I'm good at those, but we'll see if I roll good at that. That's the DC. No! You I love how I got plus six. You narrowly avoid this 
cloud of just poisonous, noxious gas that is just spewed out in front of you. I lift up, I like jump up in the air a little bit, and the wings, and they, like <laughs> went away. Yep, there you I go. I just start kicking wildly in the air. Okay, um, the rest of your teammates. Um, let's see. These guys are gonna get out of pools of water. to try to make an attack against one. Okay, I didn't stretch it at all. Oh, that does. He hits once, and he will do... Okay, and then the rest of them over here, uh, Valen is gonna actually give the command for the rest of them to uh, start to make towards the exits and yell out to everyone else to st- uh, get away as well. So Reasonable. All of them are going to start There you go. That's good. Really? And then the knight as well is going to rush over there. And okay, Ambrose is there as well. Ambrose is just going to throw um, Eldritch blasts. I would assume the cows would. Oops. 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 Okay. Why are okay. you being me? Okay. Ambrose is gonna throw out two Eldritch Blasts. Oh shit, and doesn't hit either. Wonderful. Your guys' turn. The nicest, the nicest thing I got. Oh, thank God, side. I'm not getting sucked back in. Actually, it is the top of the round. Oh fuck. No. No. Please, sir, the apple Nothing juice. Nothing does happen. Okay. Remember the apple juice. I'm gonna hit him. It's okay. Go ahead. Where the fuck is my spell? Uh, 16 plus 8. Hits. What are you attacking with? Oh, my battle axe. Okay. A 15? That's shitty. Hits. Okay. Yeah. Also not ideal. Hell yeah. Okay. Seventeen points at oh, which is slashing damage. Okay. All right, very good. That's all I do. Okay. What else are you guys doing? Okay, so Mirage is currently surrounded, right? Yep. Cool. I'm going to use a first level spell slot and cast Shield of Faith on Mirage. You have an additional plus two AC for the next ten minutes while I hold concentration on it. Very good. And then I want a wisdom save from uh, this guy. Okay. As I am going to toll the dead. Uh, Eleven. Fails. Okay. Has it been damaged yet? Which one? It, it has been. Okay. Then, double checking the damage here. Okay, that is 2d12. Dog shit. 10. Okay. And that is necrotic. Wonderful. You cast Toll the Dead on this thing, and you hear the bell ring out. Um, you focus the energy on this creature, and as it tolls, the creature just kind of like winces for a second and then just and shook off the damage. I'm so glad that all my fucking cannons are useless in everything. God damn it. Okay, who's next? We ba 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 ba. 
Um, at the same one that I've been damaging so far. Okay. Oh, my fucking god. That is a 19 plus 8. That hits. Okay. Damage. Oh. 11. Okay. Another bomb. 15. Was that bludgeoning? Yeah, magical though. Yeah, that guy was obliterated. Oh, slay. Awesome. Uh, I go to the other man. With that one punch, it's almost like you were punching through brittle <laughs> bone. And it just... Exquisite. Mm. Deep between my knuckles, fucking snapping bones! Uh, 15 to hit the other guy. Hits. Amazing. Seven points of damage. Also bludgeoning? Yes. The same type. Okay. Oops. <laughs> I am... With, uh, it seems then, like your bludgeoning damage is doing a lot more than usual against these creatures. Uh, like with one sense. punch, it like well it body begins to crack. Awesome. Um, okay. Um, I have six key points. I could use one right now. Because I have, where is it? Hold on. I'm trying to double check something. Apologies. Um, I thought I had a thing that let me get my key points back. I guess not. Oh no, that's hit points. Okay, then I'll just do. Um, a normal attack against him again. Oh! No. Okay. <laughs> no. That is all. <laughs> Very good. Who else is gone? I, I still have to go. Um, okay. Oh, and I yell. Because I noticed that they're, it's being more ouchy f- for bludgeoning damage. So as I'm trying to wail on this guy, I just turn and I go, Bonk, don't stab! And <laughs> Very good. I don't have anything slashing, like bludgeoning. Whack! <laughs> just. Instead of, yeah. go. Bonk. You, got, you got big and boy. <laughs> yeah, I do good. 1d4. Shatter. Right here. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. So I misread it. I thought it was 3d6. It's 3d8. Mm-hmm. So. Alrighty. Uh, f- right. Constitution saving throw. From the both of them. Nineteen and sixteen. Fuck. All right, they both Jesus. Pass half damage it is. Mm-hmm. Hey, damage is bamboo. Yep. What did I just say? No, because that's organic. Okay, never mind. This one's not Hmm. Well, that's. What's that? Uh. So that's eight, so that's, well, half is four thunder damage for thunder each of them. Thunder fall. Four that's and fucking four. Sad. Uh, hey, damage is damage. Yeah. What's well, getting that's, down? That's supposed to. Okay. It's all numbers game. Ambrose will yuck another Eldritch Blast. Oh, brother. Oh, no. Only one of them hits. Okay. It's okay. Uh, eight points of force damage. The one Macau was leading. Actually, not eight points. Very good. Okay. Um. Amir is going to hit while the rest of them are going to start to run. Wonderful. So he will do. Good. Okay, so 
it is now the creature's turn. Um, the one near Macau hey. is actually going to break off. So you get an attack of opportunity. I'm gonna fuck you up, bitch. Sixteen. Hits. Eleven. It's still alive, but it's very hurt. Okay. First one against Mirage. Does a fifteen hit? With your plus two. With my new fancy shit? No, it doesn't. Okay. First one misses. Second one. 16 right now. I need a dexterity saving throw from you. Alrighty. Huzzah! 17. That's you pretty good. Save. Okay. Alrighty. You take. 10 points of poison damage as this thing releases its poison breath at you. Um, okay, and third creature. Wow. So for that 10. Uh, I, <laughs> for that 10, I rolled an 8, so I take two of that damage from that first attack. Very good. Oh, yeah. Hell um, yeah. Third creature is an 18 to hit. You take seven points of piercing plus, whoops, four points of poison. All right, 11. So reduce that by three, so eight. Okay. All right, 11. All right. Top of the round, the pools start to move. Yeah. Um, what? the rest of your team is going to... Um... That's about right. Oh, that's not right. Yeah, back in there. One, two, three... <sighs> six, one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> okay, Dara, I need you to make a strength saving throw. Oh my god. Uh, Ambrose is going to need to make a strength saving that throw. That should work. And Macau. Strength saving throw. Where the fuck is... Where? Strength? Yes. 20. On that. Okay. You are able to withstand being pulled into the pool by the watery tendril. 24. I rolled a natural. Holy shit. Um, As Ambrose tries to like rush over to you guys to help out, a watery tendril envelops his waist and drags him down into the water. So. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I have a plan and now it's spoiled. Oh no, I'm concerned. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Also, yeah. at the top of this round, you guys would begin to hear more howling. Mm-hmm. And as you look towards the sides going. and the entrance of where you guys came from, yeah. a horde of these creatures begin to <laughs> descend the mountain and the ground begins to rumble with the force of these creatures charging at you. We need to run. You hear yeah. the rest of your crew yelling at you to get out of there. How are all these right. guys looking? Heavily damaged, all of them. Okay. I would disengage and run. Yeah. I'm just. I'm gonna take a opportunity attack. And I'm gonna dash. That's what I'm gonna do. Not a bad idea for you because you've got a lot more HP than I do. I haven't like been hit run. once. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm gonna take right. an opportunity attack and I'm gonna dash. I'm gonna. I don't know. Wow. Okay, well, the second one definitely hits you. Eight plus four, so 12 in total. Eight piercing, four poison. Are you raging? No. Cool. What would I be? Well, since certain. That's why I was asking. Or bonk. Me accidentally erases my maximum hit points. <laughs> Whoops. 
I have eskadoodled. Okay. I'm up. Oh. Alrighty. So first things first, I'm gonna like have the I'm gonna have the broom scoop up. Oh man. Okay. Oh, man. And just <laughs> very good in the way. It scoops up a mirror and he goes flying <laughs> all the way over to the gates. Oh. I want a misty step. Oh, there you go. I didn't even think about that. Fuck yeah. Okay. That's big brain right there. You don't have to be concerned about... And then I fucking run away! Toward the mainland, because fuck that shit. Very good. Go ahead. Oh. Come on, Nara. That makes sense. Big boy, book it. He's he's still... (laughs) Book it, that's not... All right. Big boy book it. Mm-hmm. Big boy book in. Big boy book in. Do two things here because it seems wise. I'm going to try. Dad, Jack. No. <laughs> I'm going to try and hit this one again, but with sacred flame, so I need a dexterity saving throw. That's all I've got. Whoops. <laughs> Uh, 18 plus one. Damn it. Plus one. Okay. Yeah, that's fucking it. As usual. And I will... Go. Oh, hey, Ambrose is in water. Yeah. (laughs) Did you miss that part? No, I knew. Oh. I heard it. But, uh, this is not helpful. How much does it take to root the shield? I'm taking a look at what I copied and I don't have fucking shit. Which means that I could have just fucking missed it. I don't know. Where, is it? Where are you? Where are you? Action. How would I have thought that I missed that root? Okay, what are you doing? I go to Bambos. Okay. Where do you see that? Um, I could get to here. <laughs> Doing all the math. I'm trying to get the wisest. Um, so that's my full 45 feet of movement. Yeah. Um, how far down? Is it? 20 feet. It is your guys' turn though, so he would make his way up. Okay. Then. Where, uh, if he could get, I'm trying to think about this in a smart way. If he could get up as I'm like coming in, I want to try to at least grab him and start going up mm-hmm. and just leave it at that. Sure. And then would it, oh, well, would I be able to do any more movement if I grab him or is that, I, that technically counts as an action, yeah? Okay, so then that's all I'll do. I'll just get there and grab and start to go up and then. Okay, yeah. very good. Look, I'm having a stroke. I don't see it. <laughs> I'm call a modulance. Because I see Thorn Whip as an action. It says, as an action, the shield can also be rooted in the ground, which causes a five foot thick, five foot tall, ten foot wide barrier. Where are you looking? <laughs> in my notes. What the fuck? Oh, because what you sent me is different. Should it be? It I is. Need it. In mine, it says. The heart of the iron was a magic shield that grants a plus three to AC and minus two to all physical damage. The shield can also be rooted in the ground, which causes a five foot thick, five foot tall, ten foot wide barrier of ironwood branches. That's it. Yeah. Oh. So I will <laughs> add. That's what I have in my notes. I'll add it in as, as an action. I don't know when the hell I'll be able to use it as an action, but I'll find it somehow. Okay. All right. Um. Okay, so it is now the enemy's turn. The, re- the horde of the creatures will continue descending while the rest of these guys who are in your near the team. Five, 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 five. Jeez. This is fun. Um, okay, only one of them is going to attack Macau. 
Uh, okay. Both of those are going to hit. Or one of those. Yeah, I need it. That landed by your feet and your Nine points of piercing. Plus nine points of poison. 18. I know. Amazing. Okay. I'm actually going to dash as an action. And they're going to get there. Hello. Oh! Just be there now. Get back behind the lines. Okay. All right. Your guys' turn. What are you doing? You can see the horde of creatures have now descended into the wall. They're gaining closer, and there are a lot of them. Fucking run. They're real fucking. How injured is the one in front of me? If at all. That one was not looking too great. Mm-mm. None of them are looking too great. Fantastic. Uh, I think the most injured one is this, the white one. The sky was pretty white. Yeah, that's not helpful. Yeah. Damn. Okay. okay, um, Shillelagh on the club, okay. and I'm gonna hit it. Very good. I believe in you. Never mind. Oh my god. Okay. Unless a 12 hits? Fuck. Okay. Um. Well, I'm gonna pull him a cow. Okay. I'm gonna start swinging with my fists. Okay, it's at disadvantage. I thought we got past this. Jesus fucking Christ. No, nope. I don't think so. <laughs> 18 plus 5. That hits. Or. Or. 18 plus 6. Oh, that one does not hit. It's not gonna do for Eight points of bludgeoning. Okay. I mean, that's pretty good for a fucking fist. Yeah, oh. you clobber this thing and most Ooh. of its body starts to just crack and break. Um, fucking get it! <laughs> is Ambrose in a circumstance where he could get away on his own at this point. Yes. Okay, cool. I'm gonna give him a little jump start. I'm just like, Wah! and then, um, and then get to the one that's on Mirage. Okay. So the homegirl can run. Hmm. I'm gonna, bing, bong, bing, bong, bong. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, would be taking an attack of opportunity, I think. Though. Oh no, because I would fly. I don't know. I think flying away still, still counts fly. as an opportunity attack. Okay, well. There's that. I have moved from melee range of Mr. Man. Ooh. No. Nice. Hits? No. Uh, six points of piercing. Okay. Seven points of poison. Six and seven, so 13. Okay, and then I'm gonna start wailing on this dude. Okay. Uh, fourteen. Does not hit. Fifteen. Hits. Um, eight. Dead. Amazing. Yeah. Um, and then just for, hey, what the fuck was that? I'm gonna fly back over to that motherfucker. Okay. Um, I'm gonna use a key point to do before it blows. Mm -hmm. Uh, nine. 
Nope. Uh, 15. To hit? Yeah. Yeah. I'll take it. 11. Very good. This thing is on his last legs. Ah! 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 Both of them are severely injured. On the point of exploding into bones. Wait, I thought I got the other guy. Which one? The white one? The white one. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, yeah. oh, I misunderstood what you said. You're talking about those two. Yeah. Okay, I misunderstood you. I thought you were like, oh, the two of you. Mm-hmm. And I was like, wait, wait, I wouldn't have done that. So Ambrose is going to run and then cast Eldritch Blast. Is it possible to do one and one? What do you mean? Because he can, can he can count he can direction. do two yeah you mean like split fire yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay sweet well only one's gonna hit that's okay but that's fine because I think no matter what it's gonna obliterate him stupendous I was right why does this keep timing it's... um this guy is <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's okay because all the rest of them are gathering here and going to overrun you in the next two seconds. Yeah, that's pretty much exactly what's gonna happen. <laughs> all right, so what are you guys doing? The rest of you who have movement and/or action. Mm. Moving. I can't use rest of movement to make my way over. Are right, these guys all just away. funneling out? Yep. Which I have 45 feet of movement and I used 10. So I'm gonna. I used. Go away. Devin. Okay. Wait, you two already uh, move? Should I? Should I no, take we, an opportunity? That's up to you. I don't know where you're at. Uh, you're doing pretty good. I'm at. I've got hit once. I'm at 61. Yes. Yeah, you're fine. You're doing way better than me. Or should I just stay there and stop? I can't afford it. Fuck out. Yeah. Um. Because that 20 psychic knocked me down to half. Yeah. I'll, I just magic I'll, missile them and then I do my normal movement. Yeah. You can magic you know, missile yeah. it, see yeah. if it decimates it. Yeah. You know, see fast. if we can right. run. No, I don't I can't Yeah, because neither you nor I are looking very good right no. now. <laughs> magic missile first level. And you've been incredibly far away, so I can't heal you. Which is fine. Wait, no, that's not true. Channel divinity. That's a thing that I do have. It's oh. like twenty free HP. Fire the missiles. Two, eight, that's 11. Oh! Dead. Explodes. Let's fucking go. Oh, 30 feet within me. 20, 20, 30, 30, 35, 40. And, and that creatures descend into one, the two, crater three, four, five, and begin six. charging you all. Where's my uh, 30 feet? Okay, very well. So, with that, the rest of you guys clear out the four creatures and begin to um, exit the crater. You begin to run up the incline, catching up with the rest of your crew. Uh, As you guys continue running up, you hear um, Manon slip and fall. You just hear, ah, ah. Oh shit, oh shit. Um, Valen immediately turns around. You see her holding her ankle, which is clearly sprained. he runs Walk down to her off. and like grabs her and picks her up and she says, just leave me, it's fine, you're not gonna make it. And he just keeps saying, no, 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 we're gonna get you, it's okay. And all the creatures, <laughs> you see like dust being poured up into the air as these creatures begin to move and you guys are Carry all just someone. continuing to run. It can, it can oh. carry two. Yes. It can carry Where two. Where are we at? You guys are like funneling up into there. Okay. okay. So. Broom. Yep. <laughs> I mean, there's that, yeah. or I can root the wall for a moment, and then I can heal her, because I have a shield that is ten foot wide, and that pass each way is ten foot wide. It'll buy us enough time. That's true. I'm just worried about the second you would need to get the shield back. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna fucking do it, because... Okay. Okay. Because I can literally stand there and heal, and it won't be a problem. Hey! So yeah, I will root my shield right behind her, make sure everyone's behind me, Yeah. and then I will take my action to heal Manon. 
Okay. Using cure wounds. You go and you plant your shield into the ground, and all of you see the ironwood roots and branches just <laughs> form this wall in front of you. You hear the creatures get closer and closer. Dara, you turn around and heal man, and she's on the ground. Uh, her ankle immediately feels better, and she gets up, and the rest of them begin to like Holy get shit. ready to run away. And just as you get back to your shield to grab it, the creatures have descended upon you and you can hear them like <laughs> into the wall before you hear them <laughs> and you see it. them uh, climb over your wall and you see the heads peer over you and just looking down that green noxious gas begin to form just before it's able to spew out this noxious gas um, you see the knight's sword just cleave over you, knocking some of the creatures okay. down. Uh, the knight then just grabs onto like the ledge of the roots and throws himself over. And you, you just hear <laughs> all these creatures begin to howl and groan as this knight starts cleaving through. Um, the rest of the creatures, though, you see begin to like climb the walls and they're looking down at you. What are you going to do? I'm going to remove gonna... the wall and tell the knight to run. Uh, okay, yeah. Because mm-hmm. I just healed for 21 fucking HP <laughs> with a first level spell. <laughs> okay. I hate being a fucking healer. So. You uh. tell the knight to run, and he doesn't listen, and Valen yells out for him, and you see the knight kind of, like, grab one of the creatures by its, like, throat before he turns around to the captain and just says, It's time I repay my sins. And, oh, fucking sh- and he drives the sword into this creature, and the rest of them kind of, like, surround him. Um, you see him, like, throw the creature off into the wall. It knocks into the wall, and the rocks of this canyon begin to, like, <laughs> crumble down, forming more of a rock wall and not allowing the creatures to cross. Period. The rest of you guys... Smooches tonight, man. Hmm? Smooches tonight. The rest Got of you to guys go. are able to escape while you hear the creatures um, behind this rock wall. As I'm running, I will make a quick prayer to Gaul. To Gaul, I ask you to protect that man as he saves our lives. Save his. Period. That's good. Okay. Period. All right. Meow. You guys would make your way deeper into the island, and that's where we're going to end today's session. Uh... And so, the Rift Seekers continue their journey to stop Sin and help Valen Ahamoth save his little brother. This island has proved to be a nasty landscape indeed, as well as the island's inhabitants. The Black Knight of Valen's crew has sacrificed himself to save the others. How many more will perish before the quest is complete? The only way to find out is to come back next week. (laughs) Well, that's all I have for you today. If you want more, why not consider joining our Discord? There you can talk to the players of the campaign and be a part of our lovely community. Thank you again for listening, dear friend. And goodbye for now.